Alright, <clears throat> we are back to the towers to goodness. Start the timer. Unpause the game. Pause the game. Okay. You can find a way of like making the emulator accept inputs if it's not the highlighted window. So I need to like <laughs> make sure it's actually active. My controller to work. <clears throat> well, it's 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 the transition for the the retro. <laughs> it's the only time you're ever gonna use uh, you're ever gonna see it is in this game. <laughs> a special nep nep layout, just just like nep nep just all over the screen, <clears throat> with big hearts everywhere. <laughs> no. Just no. Ow. Get away. Just healed up. I swear I need to use key, right? Question <sighs> <sighs> of speed. <sighs> We have a protection ring. I need another one. <clears throat> this one's, this one gives me more protection than the other protection ring. Doubt it. <laughs> B2 uh, nip nip. I'm sure I'm sure it exists. <clears throat> That'd be hilarious. Stupid thing. I wish I could close the doors so they can't get to me. I don't think they move any faster when you're sleeping, so as long as, like, just sleep in, in spurts, you're probably safe. per point on the rating scale. <laughs> One out of five and then we'll look dead inside. Yes. <clears throat> Damn it. I have to choose the one that didn't have a teleporter. These floating controls. <sighs> Seriously. Ugh. Oh wait, I somehow got through. <laughs> somehow like went past them. <sighs> why can't I <sighs> kill these things? What the hell? <clears throat> I don't know why I have such a hard time hitting things. It's super annoying. Oh. 
chain knight disposes for this one. No. I don't know what these chains are doing. Like, <clears throat> I don't know what pulling them actually ends up doing. There's your, uh, your avatar, uh, Gargrimmer. <laughs> Nip. That door there that's locked, but now your avatar yet. <laughs> Just a matter of time. Okay, let's try this one. Oops. Chain bolt. Get away! Get away! All right, maybe that'll open that one door. Maybe, yeah, maybe set to pull the chain on like, every single one of these. But no. Just want to go somewhere to heal up. Not a good place. Not a good place at all. <clears throat> and I'm stuck. <clears throat> uh huh. Sure, sure. It's a good thing I'm not tracking my deaths. <clears throat> well, about to have one right here. Once I can squeeze by this guy, which is not gonna happen. snakes even eat. Well, they're air elementals. They they just exist. They just absorb the mana of the world or whatever. Kill one of them.
God, this is annoying. Now, the elemental mace is to absorb the power of the elementals. <clears throat> or, like, to... Uh, and absorb these ones. It's, it's to use in, inside the pedestals. Like, unless I can kill them with these, because it, it said to use this for, like, the... Use the ice balls for, like, uh, the sword and the stone. But maybe some weird mistranslation thing. I, I have tried shooting these at them, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Used to find, need to find one that's like far enough away that I could actually try this. <clears throat> so I chose the only one that's safe. <laughs> no, I tr the the wind spell, the wind mastery one. <clears throat> first of all, I don't have enough mana to even cast like, enough, but uh, it did seem to, when I did cast it, when they were nearby, it did seem to, like, they, they had the they had the little tick that showed them taking damage. Where are they all now, actually? They all, like, disappear? <clears throat> all of a sudden, there's no more wind elementals. The game go, like, easy mode on me. Maybe because I'm holding this? No. <sighs> Gonna be it. <clears throat> You really scared of the ice ball? <sighs> oh, she's clearly winging purple. Okay, like, seriously, why can't I kill this thing? <clears throat> why is it so hard? to hit things. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, that definitely opened something, so that probably opened that door now. I just had to get to it and not die. Which is easier said than done. Need a little bit of a safe spot so I can, like, rest. Surprised I actually got. Oh shit! No, <clears throat> I was good until now. <sighs> Get away! Either way, I just don't have enough mana, and like, if I sleep, I'm dead, because they're going to be right next to me. It's like they, they need you to be... they want you to be a wizard here or something. I have a chance against these. Okay. Grab the thing. Safe enough. No, no load. See, cartridge. All right. 
<clears throat> is that door open now? It is. Nice. Let's see if there's anything there for, for teleporting. Alright, let's reload here. The momentum carried me into that portal. I want to see if there's anything on the ground. Yeah, that's bad design, what can you say? Ooh, hit you. Here you go. No! <laughs> Why? Momentum in this game sucks. Wait, come on, son of a... Mm. <sighs> I don't know how the hell this game didn't sell, you know. This, this wasn't the uh, color wrap of the Jaguar. <laughs> how did this not sell game consoles? Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Alright. Is there anything here? Nothing there. Okay. Nothing in this room. I have to make sure. I wanna... Now, we're at least we're safe. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a memory save just in case, though. Delph Neptune. Isn't that just her magical girl form? <clears throat> Alright, new area. And there's still some fucking. <laughs> Maybe I should have picked up some snowballs actually. and then attack it. Excuse me, sir. Ooh, maybe we can punch these guys now. <sighs> Why does there have to be an enemy in here? this anymore.
charge the mace. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright. Then you go do that in the uh, earth area as well. Especially now that we have a whole bunch of potions of levitation. <clears throat> So does it show... Yeah, it doesn't specify that it's like, it's been charged with, you know... Alright, so, so we're basically done with that area, thank god. I think we can kill these earth ones. I mean, those ones at least, they hit hard, but they were relatively easy to kill. Especially since they seem to be running away as soon as you try attacking them. These guys, nope. They're just gonna murder your face till you die. The wind mastery spell since we have a whole bunch of levitation potions now. Some mobs now? Oh. I guess because I was doing on the on the side of the thing it has to be like right in the middle. You hurt yourself. Go. Two down, two to go. if you're a fan, Gargrimmer. <laughs> Sephiroth, Buddhist, thank you so much for the 10 months of awesome support. So, one thing I think am I enjoying it? Eh. I mean, for the era, it's 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 a thing. <laughs> it exists. The the biggest issue I think is the controls. Like the whole thing is is very like momentum based. Like 
It's like I'm pressing the button let go, it takes like a second for me to stop moving, so you're constantly fighting, like, it takes you like a second to kind of start moving forward, because you have inertia. And you know, you let go and you keep going, so it's very... It, you have to compensate constantly for the, the entire movement thing. Yeah, the one and only Jaguar RPG. I had to wait this long to play it because there was no good emula emulation for Jaguar, but they finally, uh, it's finally a, a good uh, Jaguar emulator now, so now I get to enjoy it, if you can call it that. Alright, let's make a save. Where's your save? Alright, <clears throat> new area. What are we going to fight this time? It's going to be either... Water elementals or fire elementals? We do have that fire uh, or that water? Let's see fire. First of all, let's see if we can do damage at all with. It's locked. Never mind. Yeah, I'm definitely experiencing it all right. I think I remember using these traps. I think about it uh, to fight these fire elementals. I'd rather read a book. can't damage. I'm gonna stop here. This guy is heat seeking. <laughs> uh is there a place where I can like get around him? Oh, shit, I don't think there is. I can teleport and then teleport behind him. Maybe if I go upstairs, I'll be like, shit. <sighs> oh. Okay, good. <laughs> like, hopefully, the momentum can like push me in, in front of him. And it did. <clears throat> Digimon World franchise. I would totally burn that book. Need more food. You are not hungry. Got the Jaguar console. <clears throat> is your is your friend now in an insane asylum? Oh no! Get myself stuck. <clears throat> All right, let's see if this thing can. If I can even get this equipped before I, I <clears throat> die here. Out of charges before I can kill this guy. Wow. Alright, so, so much for trying to kill these things. <laughs> you haven't seen Source First Great? That makes sense. He <laughs> never reached second grade. 
his, his mom bought him a Jaguar to do the math, and he, he just kept failing. <sighs> well, I mean, it was clearly doing damage. I was getting, like, damage things, but just wasn't doing that much damage, unfortunately. I don't know if maybe maybe it's based on my intelligence, so maybe that's why I wasn't doing much damage with it. Probably. Sneaky bastards. Who is this? <sighs> Damn it. Leadstone. Need for something, I'm sure. <sighs> A match. <laughs> Wand of fire. God, these things are annoying. Leave me alone. No. No, 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 no. Okay, good. <sighs> Damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I was playing PS1 your friend got a Jaguar. Wow. Must have sucked to be that friend. <laughs> Every time he invites you over, you're like, uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> Can we even, like... No, we can't bypass these traps, can we? Okay. I'm curious, but if I get the fire elemental in here... They just attack each other. Yeah, I can't see this being like a, a popular item at stores. Other than maybe the com TV commercials there and the whole do the math campaign thing. But what anybody knew about the Jaguar. Alright, sleep. I'm gonna wake up dead. Alright. Let me carrying this rock around. It's a special item that I've only seen one of, I'll carry it, but otherwise... Seven minutes of having several waifus, yep. Exactly right. Okay, I can see doing... Mon that's the thing that really sucks with this. You, you get momentum for movement. That I can kind of make sense. Makes sense a little bit, but momentum for using the uh, the control the, the button. Or sorry, the button. The uh, controls outside of the. Sometimes you're Harry Potter, sometimes you're... <laughs> God, this... I don't do anything speedy in this game, is just... Uh. 
<sighs> this is in the top ten. I mean, it's an exclusive, that's one thing. A lot of the Jaguar games that were any sort of decent, they got ported to other things anyways, so... It's probably one of the extremely few that never got ported. I guess it's on PC, but... I don't know where the uh, Fire Elemental is now. <clears throat> he, like, disappeared. I want to try using the trap against them. Problem is getting them to a good spot where I can do damage to them using the trap. Okay, so there's multiple bloodstones, so... Alright, let's go over here. Is he, like, still following me? No. You did. Nope, I killed him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it worked. Alright, so that's how you kill these guys. Oh yeah, Wolfenstein, Doom, those are... I mean, this is very Ultima Underworld, just not as good. Definitely has an Ultima Underworld, like, feel to it. I did do the thing. Red key. Back when there was like nothing like this in the uh, in the wind elemental one. Okay, there's, there's plenty of those bloodstones, so I'll, I'll keep one in case somebody wants to trade like that black pearl thing. Or the rope. But, no. Ruin. Crap, he's chasing too fast. No. Damn it. He's too far. <laughs> he's not gonna hit. Oh wait, there's one on the other side too. Go. Got him. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep leading him to that. <laughs> yeah, so far it seems like the rocks are the only one I was able to hit. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, they're, they've got physical bodies, right? These guys are like fire and, and air, like what the hell, how, how are you going to kill an air elemental? Definitely not with a sword. One of my men betrayed me. I did not care 
I do not care about Dagon, only his treasure. No, we need to be or we need to kill him and get Dagon, or further a treasure. He is at the bottom of the water elemental area. See the first dude we jumped into didn't have a fucking levitation one. At least this, these guys are giving you a, a levitation one when you fall into these. Where am I over here? So this guy is basically useless. He's just telling us about his friend in the water elemental area. Have a nice sleep. Love they put him in jail with a dagger. <laughs> but um These guys respawn. Oh god. Oh god. Run. More corpses. No shit. No. Dude, sneaked out of here, you son of a. <sighs> Two of them. What the fuck? <sighs> Alright, took some damage there, but it was worth it. Exclusive here. How's it going? Said deed. Alright, so I'm hoping that's all of them unless they respawn, which one of them definitely felt like a respawn. Alright, so it's the big rock thing I'd seen. Where am I right now? Okay, so that's the sword and the stone, so I need to get those ice balls to come here with that. So let's, uh, I don't know how many ice stones I need, but ice balls or whatever. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, like, didn't I give that guy a black diamond? I did, but then I, uh, reloaded. What's the red key for? Is there a lock? Oh, yeah, there's a locked door up there. Alright, I don't know how many ice stones I need. Uh, here. Well, since we gotta come here anyways, or come back here, let's just dump everything here. Bring four ice stones. Problem is, we have to go back to the wind elementals. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Hey, not day. Up a Sunday. Bring 
remember. Don't they still exist? <laughs> just when you... Uh, just in case you want a fun, cheesy thing. Don't. Uh... North... Didn't mean to hit that. Alright. Let's try to get some balls that are getting murdered. <sighs> Not a good start. to do. <laughs> it's a wonderful sound. What do you mean? Bowls. One. Two. Three. Make a save before I do anything stupid here. Memory save. I'm assuming this should be more than enough. There. If six isn't enough, then screw that thing. Back to the starting area. <laughs> that says the starting area, isn't it? <sighs> Son of a bitch. Or at least will, this will be the exit. Yeah, I guess once you go in here, you're basically stuck until you get out. This sword is awesome. <laughs> Poor dog. <coughs>
Thanks. Sort of frost. Could have been good against, you know. Oops. 15 to, to 5 to 15 M. Magical, I'm guessing. You mean now I can hit like magical creatures? I mean, I can kill those fucking uh, air elementals too. Grab just one of each here. Save. <laughs> Looks more like a dagger than a sword. Seems to attack a little faster, too. Well, it was already in the lead when it started up, considering it had all the previous votes. Although, even if it didn't have those votes, I don't think there's anything that could uh, overtake it. <laughs> all the rest of the choices are pretty meh, so... Fire elemental in here, we can try this on. Oops. Has the same accuracy as the previous weapon. <laughs> okay, you can definitely hit these guys with this. Though. <laughs> Probably not a good idea, though. See if can spurt someone and get murdered. I'm hitting every time. Still takes like a million hits to kill this thing. If your cheese is that crunchy, it's probably uh, past its expiration date. <laughs> you might want to throw it away. Well, a lot of fire dudes. Gotta have the the big eyeball things. Yeah, that did a lot of damage there. Back up a little more. Failed to sleep. <laughs> yeah, this game has some like grammar issues. This guy's respawning is just like a million dudes in here.
spoilers. <laughs> Hey, Distant Fancy. How's it going? I got... Okay, good. Kill him. I'm doing great. Except we're playing Atari Jaguar games, so I don't know about that. I don't remember how far I got last time. I'm pretty sure I got further than this, but... I don't know, like, we're already at, like... I'm about the same time as where I, uh... I gave up on, on the game last time, so maybe I am further. I do remember these elemental dudes, but I don't remember really anything past that. down, one to go. I wonder if this ice weapon will be good against ice dudes. I wonder if the elemental matters, or as long as it's magical, you're fine. Guess we'll find out shortly. Save. <clears throat> Grammar, hardly even know her. I was hitting a fire elemental. Maybe these guys just have like insanely high uh, agility. Maybe that's why I can't hit them. What are those blankets. <laughs> okay, so. Oh no, I hit him. I hit him, but. Oh god. Take a while. A little water. Flower girls even know their parents. <laughs> Going to a field of flowers already. Right, which one of you is mine? thing for uh, for summon food because this would be absolutely impossible definitely not enough food to go around mm 
be funny if you get like a suddenly a game over. It's like, oh, you took too long. Yeah, so you're here. I hit it all the time, and it was oh, leveled up. Level five. Attack of eight. <clears throat> I don't know if my stats are going up at all, but I got more mana. Last I check, I had six, but I think it was like two levels ago. Yeah, those definitely look like towel. <sighs> Maybe we have the weed, that's why they're trying to attack us. Why do these hit so hard? I guess what the create wall does. No, just literally just creates a wall. How long does this wall last? <laughs> oh, not very long actually. <sighs> At all. Good for like a little bit of a... a, a of sleep time, I guess. Create a wall, sleep. Create another wall, sleep. Assuming it doesn't you know, disappear faster if you go to sleep. It's probably the dude who... Uh, the other guy was mentioning about treasure. Stuck. Seems to be a. Uh, as as okay, I was gonna say as long as you're not staying still, it doesn't seem to like attack you too much. But definitely seems to be better moving backwards than it does to stay in place. Yeah, they're, they're water elementals, I'm assuming they're supposed to be, like... Supposed to be little waves. Yeah, I mean, you gotta remember, this is like an old-style RPG, right? <laughs> like, in D&D &D games, I mean, you're lucky if you got to, like, level 4 in some D&D &D gold box games. He's like, nope, not dying today. And I don't know, like, there's no experience. Uh, like, nothing tracks XP, so... I, I did notice I, like, I level up while attacking somebody, so... so it seems like hits gets you XP, not necessarily kills. But I have no idea how much XP is needed to level up how close I am, because it doesn't tell you that in-game. more <sighs> or if I'm getting the same amount of XP killing these things I am from killing an eyeball or whatever my god don't kill me
I'm safe. Take massive damage if you're sleeping and you get hit. Candlestick. Yeah, it's a new emulator from the uh, developer from Digital Eclipse there. And the guys who made the Atari 50 thing that had some Jaguar games on there. So they released this emulator out for people, which is awesome of them to do. So now we have like a basically 100% uh, working oh geez, emulator for Jaguar. Regular Jaguar. I don't think they have Jaguar CD support, but they're they're still supporting it. Like they're they're putting out new versions and everything. So. I guess whoever designed it for from digital clips there is like, alright. Here you go guys. Here's a gift. This is awesome. Missiles. Give you bonus XP if you accomplish certain things. Yeah. No, exactly. Plus, you know, so some of those spells and uh, you need late, later uh, levels could be quite broken D and D. So, especially for the gold box games, I mean, you would have to make the whole game kind of work around those. Very minimalist. <laughs> Alright, let's <clears throat> see this buddy. Oh, there's the key we need. Whoops. If you're gonna try to kill me, or if you're gonna if you're trying to kill me, you're gonna wind up dead. Warm iron key. Two levitation potions. I'm still carrying this club around. Running out of inventory. Get rid of this bow. These arrows. Okay, this is a lot of health. Oh. Thought we'd have a treasure or something. Uh, I wonder if I should reload. Maybe the treasure was the key. In case, like, he's important or something, maybe he'll show back up. So we're using this right away.
Hey, damn. <sighs> God, these guys are so hard to hit. Oh my god. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna die to this fucking water. What the hell? Let's save after picking up that key. I forgot to use the key, too. These elementals I hit like every single time. So it's got to be like some sort of agility thing on those those flying eyeballs, which I can't hit them worth a damn. <sighs> well, love when I try to charge it and I throw it instead and it smacks me in the face. It's fully charged. This is actually a weapon now. Oops. It does magic. Five. Five out of five M. <laughs> Sporting cube. Monster, thank you so much for the eight months of awesome sport. And I just realized that I never put the um, <laughs> kids aren't even hearing the Sephiroth. No, no, the alert's showing, but it's not coming up on the actual overlay for some reason. Why isn't it coming up in the overlay? Hmm, is it below the thing? Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. And uh, do, 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 alert. No, it should. That's weird. Don't know why the uh, the thing isn't showing up. It should it should be working. I hear the sound. I just don't see the the visual. I'll have to take a look after the stream. Maybe it's something with uh, some change they did. Look like anime towels. Yeah, yeah. Their their waves aren't exactly uh, well done. Alright, so now we got a fully charged mace of elemental spirits. Don't know what the hell we're supposed to do with that, but it's probably good to have, I imagine. <sighs> God, these things move fast. <sighs> He's gonna kill me. Oh, 
Alright, anything in these niches? Yeah, so I wonder what I do now with this, uh... With this staff. Hmm. You can go to that central area now. Actually, where's what, what this warm key used, too? Wasn't using that one little cubby there. Maybe we use the, the wand as a key? So we've been to every area here except for that little cubby. Um... Maybe in the, uh, maybe in the library. Well, let's see, first of all, if, uh... See if that wand opens up that door. So that's obviously where we need to go. Let's see if the the key opens up the library. That key was obviously an optional thing, like I had to fall in there and pick it up. Really not required for this area. Teleport to the back side of that library. There's like a malfunctioning. So I think we have to go into this one. And then there's like a malfunctioning teleporter or something. And log? It is. Fully working version of this now. I mean, it still sucks, but <laughs> at least it works now. Well, it sucks. I mean, it, it's it's a product of, of of its time. Let's just say. I mean, it wouldn't have been amazing when this came out or anything. I mean, it came out in '96, and like compare that to uh, compare that to like uh, Ultima Underworld games, which came out way earlier, and obviously. <laughs> are arguably more advanced than this game. Oh, okay, so that's the key for that. This isn't exactly where I thought it would be, but... <laughs> What's in here? Good treasure. There's a hole here. Another key. Dagger. Rounded bronze key. Dagger fall, yeah. It's probably more dagger fall than anything, I guess.
Wait, what? <sighs> okay, I never tried killing that guy, but I guess if I did... How is he dead? <laughs> I'm, I'm really curious now. So we need this, this key to get to him, but... I'm really confused now. So maybe... Maybe the other guy came here and killed this guy and gave the key, so it just, like, triggered this to happen. Should keep this just in case. I was actually looking at the teleporter. But there's a spot to the, uh, in the in the upper side here. It's also kind of locked off. I'm curious if uh, we've been above, so that if there's any holes above, we would definitely would have fallen down here. So. Got to be a secret area in here. Oh shit. <sighs> uh. Yep, keyception, gotta love it. <laughs> Fuck the momentum in this game. <laughs> with the with the view range, if you're going maximum speed by the time you realize there's a hole coming up to you, it's like you're not stopping. <laughs> you're just going right into that hole. Secrets, so maybe that map is not accessible. <sighs> All right, so where's those teleporters? That's where I thought I was going to use the key, but. Which is the one I wanted to use, actually. So maybe now we have to actually go through these golems or something. <sighs> hmm. Doesn't seem like I was doing any damage there. Try to like sneak past them, but <sighs> if I can <clears throat> open that door, fuck. Oops. vulnerable. <laughs> well, 
fairly invulnerable. I want to see if I can even open that door. If I have any keys that even opens it. guys are just death. Keep loading the uh, memory save. It's going to go back. It's just faster. Just reloading again. <laughs> If I just run up to him, maybe, just to see if I can unlock the door. Let the momentum carry me. Let's go! <sighs> oh, not close enough. <sighs> Doesn't seem to be possible to get past them. Alright, uh, let's go to. Didn't mean to do that. There's no other doors. Uh... Oops. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's the door in the middle there. That's where the teleporter used to bring us, behind those golems, but now we have to go through those golems somehow. <clears throat> it's the only other save. There's the only other door I couldn't unlock. Weird, because in the bottom. Or in the middle, uh, in the middle right there, there's clearly I can see behind that door. It's kind of weird. I don't know why I could see that. Maybe because I, when I got to that little alcove, it somehow revealed the map behind it. Either way, All right? Let's go. Curiosity, can we like do anything with maybe just like one shot them or something? Just want to see. Yeah, I'm not technically using it as a weapon, so. No. 
By the way. After all that, we're only only one third of the way through the uh, through the game. Still have like still have another eight levels to go. God knows how hard those are going to start getting. Save us, the dead have returned. Are we fighting undead now? RPG with skeletons? What are they going to think of next? Bats? Oh god, where the fuck is that? Yeah, I know, right? Picnic. Pinky zombie. <clears throat> I'm assuming that was a zombie. An arrow. Yeah, talking about arrows. Maybe a good idea to try to fight that uh, mage dude. <clears throat> it takes so long swapping equipment in this. This guy's so fast, fuck. I'm out of fucking arrows. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. No way. Why 
is everything so fast? I don't know about then. I mean, look at uh, something like uh, Kingsfield. You gotta remember, this This is just like a basic, like, Wolfenstein era. There's, there's not even any elevation. There's, it's just like flat, square, you know, square stuff with, like, sprites. You know what I mean? There's not even any 3D models. Like, this, is, this is like Wolfenstein era 3D. And Kingsfield definitely looks better than this. <laughs> Not even Quake era. At least Quake was was you know fully 3D models, not sprites. This is like Doom at the best, and even Doom had some sort of elevations and stuff. Like this is this is Wolfenstein. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Oh my God. shoot through this? Doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna say I'm, I can't move. Winter Jack and Clarence from $75.55. bucks. got a gift card to make that $25. Bucks. Nice. Good deal. That's what I mean. Like, this is... Like, okay, for the Jaguar, sure, for a console, but, like, in general, this game is pretty meh. <laughs> Graphically, like, technologically. Compared to, you know, other contemporary things that were available at the time. I mean, hell, they, they have Doom working on stuff like, like Sega CD and whatnot. <laughs> Doom is more advanced than this graphically. Everything moves so fast. Like, di didn't Japan get an Ultima Underworld, uh, Ultima Underworld on the PS1? So, Ultima Underworld definitely looks better than this. <laughs> I want magic missiles. Let's use that against the the dude. I mean, we'll get sniped by other <sighs> fucking things on the way there. Too late. I love how these magic missiles are just blue orbs. This looks like a placeholder graphic for, for a magic missile. Has more charges than I thought it would. Oh, too soon. Uh. Uh. Why are there so many dudes? Prototype of the Game Boy Color port. Oh, yeah. These guys have such <sighs> tiny heads. <sighs> Unrelated note, you cannot find the map. No 
know maps so well. I can't see this game being like in a lot of anything really. Such an unknown game. Is there even any like any like full uh, let's plays on on the internet for this? This might be the first time it's actually. I mean, it's definitely not the first time it's been beaten. I know a few people who come here who've beaten this game, but in terms of like an actual like full let's play. So you're welcome, internet. <laughs> I think I can get sniped by that fire wizard dude. Should uh, make another save here. Make a memory save. At least I can hit these skeletons. <laughs> I like those stupid eyeball dudes. You only found one? Is it like a full playthrough or is, or is it my old, <laughs> my old VODs? <sighs> it's like... Damn it. <sighs> is it a recent one? I'm wondering if it was actually played on the... On the original Jaguar, or was it P the PC version? <sighs> God, we're changing weapons. I wish it would pause the uh, pause the game when you like switch weapons and go to this menu. Hope oh, has one. He actually went through the entire game. That's cool. This one seems to be just a big ass room. I don't want to waste my arrows on. No. Oh, God. Controls on this. <sighs> Me? Can I attack him? Can. Ha. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the cheese. I I'm assuming I that's okay. I was gonna say, am I even actually killing him, or maybe it's, it's hitting the wall or something? The bleach bones don't budge. Interesting. Hmm. You need to use something on them. Interesting. I guess he's dead. I hope I need to kill him like in a specific spot. Let's make a. Uh, let's keep using memory save and keep our cartridge save in case uh, we're supposed to kill him in a specific area. Because you can't budge those bones, so. 
haven't seen any signs or anything. Okay. Hey, Zerdan. How's it going? Welcome to the Jag War. Such a big area. Let's explore the outside first, just so I have like whole thing mapped out here. Nothing. Nope. One and only. Unless somebody makes a uh, homebrew Jaguar RPG, which... I mean, could exist now that there's a good emulator out there. Who knows, somebody might actually be crazy enough to make another one. But I doubt it. <laughs> saw something red there. Oh boy. Dude behind me. No. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm gonna try kiting that guy. <laughs> Dude snuck up behind me. Say, like, I took damage there. <laughs> Couldn't have been that one, he was running away. Hole. Where is it? This on right here. Seems to be just like a pit in case like, you're on this floor. It's gonna reload. I mean, that's not a new area. Once I managed to kill this guy.
combo. <clears throat> God damn it. Spread dudes are, uh... Really nasty enemies here. I'll use the rest of my arrows on that red dude. so fast <laughs> Go somewhere safe so I could switch weapons. Oh god, it's <sighs> still chasing me. Why is he so fast? <sighs> my bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> He's in like a full suit of armor. He shouldn't be running this fast. <laughs> God, there's another... Uh. It's like a minute to, like, switch stuff out. Monster Crown. But nobody wants a modern game. run away there and try to heal up, but...
I haven't found any upgrades for like other equipment yet. Like I haven't found a new cap, I haven't found like I found a new piece of armor. We had went from like padded armor to leather. And that's it. No new shield, no new boots. Pick up these boots on level one. Where's my leather boots? Yeah, it's definitely a game that looks like it could run on 3DO or CDI or any of those CD-based systems. To the red dude. I know he's just gonna be sniping me in the back at any second now. Like surprise! Somebody coming. Of the mace. You don't need the mace anymore. Yeah, it's because I, I threw it at the. If it bounces off a wall and hits you in the face, you take some damage. Not a lot of damage. I guess you could potentially throw things at enemies to do a little, a little bit of chip damage. people nearby, but <laughs> can't see them. I know, right? supposed to use in that portal thing. What did that sign say at the entrance again? Let's see.
go here. There's a crystal ball. Promising. Oops. Can't seem to use any arrows. Captain Bible. Going by the robots, Nickelodeon can reject religion. Ooh, new shield. That's the same shield. Large shield. Oh, we got a iron coif. Alright, so we have. Oh. So we have nine defense. Oops. Still have nine defense. Must be only used when you're blocking this. And defense. Broken crossbow. Doesn't do me any good. It is now obvious what has happened. After the great battle, Dagon sealed the exit. He must have been afraid that Salvan would escape. And now the dead come to claim us. We made a keep and set up the best defense we could. Without warning, they come and fiercely fight they do. Our fighters fought, Salvan entered the main room. Theris spoke of only our only chance, and the room began to dance with magic. Blinding explosions littered Salvan's body, but he did not fall. Just then I heard an explosion and Saris's cry in pain. I knew that he breathed his last. Jarrett cried in anguish at the sight of his brother, and with falling tears ordered the retreat. We then ran through a secret passage. When I looked back and saw Salvan picking up Saris's body, they will be here soon. All we can do is buy ourselves time. That tells me nothing. I don't need lore. <laughs> I need answers. Do anything with this. the red dude. <laughs> he like despawn or is he just stuck on something in some corner somewhere? He was breathing down my neck for the longest time and I finally gave him the, the shake. Found him. Shield. Bike nail armor, nice. Ten defense. Thirteen. Wow, it's a good uh, jump. Sharp sword. It's five to fifteen. Six to twenty-six. Yes, please. Keep that in case I need magic.
I wonder, I wonder if I'm supposed to go up by using Levitate, because I've yet to see any stairs other than the ones we came up. I'm really curious about that that altar, though. It's got to be something we have to use there. Clearly not the mace. I'm going to reread that sign that was at the entrance of this floor. Finish exploring. Too heavy. <clears throat> yeah. How heavy is it? That's like over 30 pounds. Something that's worth worse than plate armor. Oh, it's like mm. Oops. Yeah. Six pound explosive cube. I definitely didn't come here to kill these guys, so I don't know how they died, but bunch of missiles. useful. Alright, so we've got a weird altar that we don't know what to do with. Maybe get something upstairs. So, let's see. Let's go to this. Yeah, there's this, uh, this one here that had that red dude, too. Probably with my extra defense, I'll have a chance without having to kite him here. If I die, nice. I R B winner. Sound like it's getting closer. <laughs> and one shots these guys. Same. Plate mail is going to be too heavy. It's my uh, maximum weight now at level 6. 160? Yeah, it's the same as before. So my weight thing didn't go up. I guess it's based on my strength, so. It's more health, I guess. More hit points. And more mana. I'm assuming these crystal balls are just like light sources or something. And I actually pick them up in any way.
nothing in here. Just, I guess, just the uh, the dudes who can get some extra experience and or his equipment. Stairs up. That's like a secret thing there. like a bigger like sprite a bigger like damage thing showing up Ooh, crossbow something that's better than our regular bow nine to fifteen I where the other one was but gotta be better right I mean, technically it can do more damage, but I don't know. I don't know if I still need this mace. You can say cover. Huh. Closest we're going to get to playing Daggerfall? Yeah. Pretty much. He witnessed Lord Dagon bring the dead back to life. In a room filled with bones, Dagon stood, holding a vial of a foul green liquid. Pour the liquid over the bleached bones and rose. In the blink of an eye, there stood a skeletal being. In a blood curdling cry, Dagon screamed, Salva, no! How could I? Salva attacked Dagon. Which turned to a heated battle, then a flash of light Dagon disappeared. Salvan then turned to face us. We could feel his evil, and he too disappeared in a flash of light. Stairs or mage instructed us to leave the tower and warn the town. We ran fast, but only could find the stairs blocked. Just then a cry of anger echoed around us. We must find a place to hold up and defend our lives, said Saris. And they all died. The end. Alright, so I think we're basically fully done this floor, right? Yeah. Except that weird... No, oh, let's go in that top left corner just in case I miss something. Other than that weird teleporter thing, which... Not teleporter, the weird portal thing. Secrets. Thank you. 
many dudes. This one is awesome. <sighs> nice. Levitate. We got the spell. Oh, I missed the spell. Alright, so we can get rid of these levitate. Well, let's make sure I can cast it first. <laughs> I have enough mana. Hooray! Now I can get rid of these levitation potions. Huzzah! I just wonder if there's a spell in the, uh... Maybe there's a floor I missed, then... It seems to be like there's one spell per floor at this point. I mean, the only place that could potentially have a spell would be that, uh... That weird portal thing. <clears throat> Other than that, everything else has basically been explored except those little... Little, uh... Oh, maybe that... That rightmost, that little weird alcove thing. That it could potentially be a really tiny room there, like a little tiny corridor that might have something. Hmm. Other than that, we might need to return with the uh... double check. Unless there's more, but the game, uh... The, the, the map thing goes up to 12, so... So unless there's, like, some secret ones... Almost. Okay, so there's nothing behind that as far as I can tell. There's no way to get into that little side area. And everything else is basically explored except for those little, those four squares at the bottom. Potentially one of those might have a secret. It could be one of those things where I have to fall from above too, which actually would be more likely, especially now that we have this levitate up spell. Like both of these might be like that, so. I'm in the southern area of, of the... because there's there's a whole bunch of teleporting... or a whole bunch of uh, holes here. In fact, it's probably good if I, if I find one nearby, I can... yeah, right here. I'll put me near where those things could potentially be. There's any holes around here? Good to say that our destruction is imminent. Twelve of our men moved huge boulders to block our entrance. Soon after an explosion threw small bits of stone into the room. Cries of agony and hideous laughter was all that could, I could hear. Ceres then walked in, or what was left of him. Jared looked confused as he stood toe to toe with his dead brother. Jared tried to lift his mighty sword, but even I could not swing on his own brother. It proved costly as Jared went up in flames. Meal. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Some shoes. Boots of traction. Maybe this will keep us from like sliding around. <laughs> Be amazing. 
13. Same on defense. Nope. <laughs> no difference as far as I can tell. Maybe it's like an ice level or something. I don't know. It's hard to tell. No, it seems like it's the same. Same amount of momentum. More than likely, it's going to be a nice level that's going to help us in. spot. I love when I one shot these. Uh... <laughs> you know, if I could hit him. Save about that explosive. Run away. Two more hits. Two more hits. Ten more hits. <laughs> Got a good hit on him, but <laughs> it was rude, sir. Spirit food in case I run out of uh, run out of mana. Okay, so one of those is solid, and the other three are open. Only fell into one of them. It's more like a trap that's just constantly firing bears.
kind of suck being a uh, wizard, just having to constantly sleep, unless they have like a lot of extra magic. Yeah, except I think they act just like a solid wall. Yeah, so you can't go into it, so it looks like a diagonal wall. It's just, you know, they just took a full tile and just threw on like a slight diagonal wall. <laughs> yeah, we're slightly better. We've mastered uh, hexagons. <sighs> Thanks. All right. Run away. <sighs> God, healing does nothing. <laughs> Unless the amount of healing is based on your your, your intelligence or something. Of course, a wizard probably would have way less, uh... uh -oh. Wizard would probably have way less hit points. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Let's try... Crossbow. Bridge! Looks the breed. How's it going, Bridge? What are you playing today? Something as, as amazing as this, I'm sure. Shave. Some more wizardry. You wizardry. <laughs> How is that? Slowest moving arrows ever. Yeah, every wizardry game or every wizardry like game always has to have a teleporter maze. A ruby bronze key. I'm really wondering about this this one here. Like, I wonder actually if I go back down to those golems now, maybe I can survive them. Now that we have this new armor and everything, My healing potions. Pickaxe. Wonder if we can use those against. Shovel. Can we dig things? Is that a weapon? No. Yeah, I can imagine. Worst part in trying to map those out, especially since, especially if there's no easy way of knowing if you, like, where you've teleported to. There's still a ball. Okay, that sounds important. Maybe you need to bring that downstairs. I'm thinking this maze of elements is needed yet. I think it was just to get through that door. I'm gonna. 
dump that. Yeah, let's dump that. And the last to survive, I'm just a scribe with no training in fighting or magic. This tower isn't now littered with creatures that were once human. That one's called friends. No, I must fight to survive. I only hope to find this rusty sword I found helps. I found a strange crystal. When I looked at it, into it, I saw Dagon. I tried to call him, but it was to no avail. By touching the crystal, I didn't learn something disturbing. We were sent to destroy Dagon from touching his mind. I have learned that he is not evil at all. Only misunderstood. Let's hope we can withstand all the occurrences and remain sane. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are the worst. Resurrection? How does that work? <laughs> Do we, like, drink this before dying and then get resurrected? Running out of inventory! I don't need this protection ring, you know what? Got enough protection for my armor. Keep the protection ring. Uh, I'll keep that magic resistance ring. I do. Not that kind of protection ring text. So, in case we can use pickaxes on rocks. on the ground. <laughs> Keep it there anyways, I don't think I need two, two set of stairs I've seen so far. <sighs> no. <laughs> Didn't see the, uh... Come on. Good thing Fizzling doesn't actually... Is that an invisible one? I don't remember seeing a pit there. Alright, look down. Do have any other protection? Is not exactly what I have. It is. <laughs> yeah, Karote, it's gone. hours. Well, it's not like you're using it by itself. <laughs> if you're just spending 200 hours in that with like no other games open, then uh, yeah, you'd be spending a little too much time grid cartographer.
for cartographer, I'd be surprised. I, I think it's too niche of a product to go on sale. If it was like an, an actual game, I could see it going on sale, but being an app, like a being an application that's used for like a small number of games or a very niche like <laughs> audience of older older games like that. But who knows? Doesn't fit. Well, none of my keys are useful. Yeah, no, right. Yeah, who is the stargazer, actually? I haven't met any stargazers yet. Is the gun guy is a stargazer? Maybe that scribe who's like the last one living of this this team is a stargazer? Who knows? They just threw some random words together that sounded interesting. It's like, alright, this is the title now. Either there's these are areas we either come up from below or fall from above. Take a look once we go back down. Then he pits around those. Been here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Star is me. Hooray! You can even look up at the sky in this one. It's exploding really hard in there. areas that are inaccessible. Only a hundred thousand were screwed. 
Yeah, I mean, they, they basically, since it's cartridges, of course, not surprisingly, they have built-in cartridge memory. I wonder how the Jaguar CD worked. It must have been, like, some onboard memory on the, uh... Or pit. <laughs> Didn't see the pit. All right, well we're down here. Um, so let's see if there's a if there's any holes leading up to those. By CD game saving cart. What a surprise! <laughs> So, there's going to be a hole that's going to be on the other side of this wall. Don't see anything right here. One right here, but that's... Yeah, too far. Three days! Oh, don't worry, they're, they're going to cancel them. <laughs> Last second's like, oh, sorry guys, not ready. But we'll bring it out in 2024. Our bad. Which means the teleporters have done is random tele random teleportation? Yeah. Yeah, that that's gotta be the worst. There's like ten teleporters and you just gotta like randomly hope you get the right one at some point. Okay, so nothing here, which means either a teleporter gets us in there or we fall from above. What about the other ones? Let's try the top side there. It's right in that, right uh, above that little room thing. Which stuff? This crap. Some like broken, like my old shield, some broken crossbows, a note. There's still something alive down here. <laughs> like, why am I not moving? Alright, so nothing here. Alright, it's so another one that we probably can't reach from below. Let's try that diamond thing over there. around here. Nope. Alright, so all those are either teleportation spots or fall from above. bother checking the middle area because those ones were blocked off by uh, by gates so need to keep those so, since I'm down here might as well uh, see if I can survive those golems get through them actually let's check that bottom left corner with this uh, orb see if that does anything yeah yeah they're becoming more and more common now they do exist 
They're not like unicorns. <laughs> I wonder when they're gonna start releasing. Like, didn't Sony basically like? Didn't they basically say that they're, they're making a uh, a PS5? Like, they're gonna make PS5 models that don't have discs anymore, but you can buy the disc externally. I wonder when that's, that's gonna start going. You know, the physical models are gonna be worth a lot of money in the future. <laughs> Your, like, the, the, the disc versions. In, like, 20 years from now. Alright, can we do anything with this? Oops. I'm really curious about this resurrection potion. Nope. <laughs> Ow. Uh, stairs are this way. So let's see if we can even do damage first of all. Okay, it doesn't seem like we're doing damage still, but at least we're not dying in one shot practically, so let's see if I can sneak by and open the door. If if I can even open the door with these keys. Menu open in time. God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the install sizes are insane. Convenience for downloading game, yeah. I mean, you're basically downloading the game anyways when you're playing a physical version. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
so that one doesn't fit. <sighs> okay, so that answers my question. I can't get into those. Unless the door is already open. Oops. <clears throat> okay. So that answered my question. I, it's not here that I used that. Well, to, to put in, uh, yeah, storage expansion, not memory expansion. But yeah. No, no, no. You, 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 the game goes golden, and then you have a day one patch ready, because it's like, okay, ship out the game, we're going to get these bugs fixed uh, by the time the game, go, uh, you know, launches. If you don't have internet, um, well, too bad you're playing a, a broken version of the game, so good luck. I'm really wondering if that if this key here is used, this rounded bronze key. Is there anything in the previous areas that were like locked doors other than like the beginning door, which I highly doubt? So those are the bathrooms. Uh, not, nothing here is locked. Nothing here. Uh, this one, there's nothing in the top left corner. Or top right corner, unless there's some stuff behind secret passages. And I can't get into the library to get to that stuff in the bottom middle area. As far as I can tell, the key doesn't have any use, unless it is in the library, but I can't get there anymore, so... Unless maybe it was a one-time one chance of going in there with that teleporter, but as soon as you use the teleporter once, that's it. The teleporter is how we, we figured out we need to use the, uh, the mace, which technically I guess we could have figured out and reloaded, but whatever. Alright, so let's go back upstairs. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with this, but... I don't know what else I could try throwing in there. Maybe these stones are like... These are like, usable? No? Can't eat these? <laughs> these like accessories maybe? No. Uh, 64. Oh, these are like, okay. So the, these are actually like accessories. Okay, well, the weight doesn't really help. Because <laughs> if I hold that, that uh, stone of health, my hit points go up. Kind of pointless, but stone of weight doesn't seem to do anything, though. Other than being incredibly heavy. Hmm. Well, that's DLC, or that's uh, DRM. The only reason that exists. <laughs> you don't need the disc, it's just they want you to have the disc because you, you know, they want you to, like, install the game, give the disc to a friend, or, you know, sell it, and then get the game for free, right? Yeah, exactly. That's going to be the biggest issue with modern stuff, at least anything prior to the, you know, prior to the PS3. Those ones, you get the game, that's it. It's a, It might be buggy, but, you know, you've got a completed version of the game. PS3 and on, not, like, early PS3 for the most part wasn't really, you didn't get too many, like, patches, but PS4 and, and, so, and past that, it's almost like a requirement sometimes. 
But of course, you'll need a modded console to do that too. You won't be able to just, you know, download and update. Yep. Well, that stuff is all archived nowadays. Like, on multiple people's computers, there's, there's always a way of getting access to that stuff down the road, but... It might be harder to get is the only problem. It might, it might exist, but getting access to it might not be so easy. Yeah, but it's not like those ROMs disappeared either after they did that. <laughs> it's not like they ceased to exist. Those ROMs still are still out there, just uh, you know, not on that site. All right, level seven. Heavy. Like I wanted your plate armor, anyways. Metal Gear Survive is the only non MMO game play that doesn't let you play unless you're online. I mean, there's a bunch out there. I don't know if they ever removed the DRM stuff from stuff like SimCity and Diablo, Diablo 4, you know, those those games all came out with like that online DRM, DRM bullshit. Whether they removed it later on, it's still... If you don't have like a, if you don't have a patched version, <laughs> those disappear at some, in, in the far future. There's definitely games. There's, lot, there's definitely some online games. It wasn't uh, like it was on Switch, wasn't there? It was like some Doom games or something that the you could play, but then you, you needed to access their servers to play it, which is like makes no sense considering it's a freaking Doom. Yeah, most of those got removed later on, kind of thing, but. Let's say, you know, I mean, it's, it's very, very unlikely, but let's say something happens where, like, there's no copies of that, uh, of those patches available anymore, and you've got those, you've got a copy of that game, you can't play it anymore, right? You know, is it that happening nowadays with, like, <laughs> online archiving and available mobile sites is very unlikely, but not a zero percent possibility, right?
Boring maintenance, yeah, that's always fun. Local protection. Okay, I'm assuming this would be more for like the mages, because Yeah. <laughs> Ten defense versus thirteen. A lot lighter, but um, big big strongy dude. Strongy. <laughs> big big uh, strong dude. I can have the heavy armor. It's a lot bigger on the inside than it was on the outside. A secret here somewhere. Right here. Who's attacking that one? <laughs> Attack the one that's in front of me. Still pointless. <laughs> Nothing in here. The hell. <laughs> it does. Just tag all the, the merchandise. Huh. This isn't above anything important anyway, so even if there was something. There's like a pit here. There's nothing. Really odd. One of these dropped a key maybe and I didn't spot it. Maybe the uh Maybe the wizard dude. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Really pointless. I guess it's just one XP or something. No holes above us. Here, might as well go down again. set of stairs all the way in the top corner over there. Got 
the necklace I threw away. Do one over here. It was near a pit. A good, a good pit. Oh crap! This might hurt though. Unless he doesn't attack, which is fine. Looks like he's trying to attack me because just doing no damage. <sighs> nice. Got him. Looks like there's. Sounds like there's one on the other side too. A blue hilt. Hmm. Gonna make a sword of some kind? Damn it. We watch stuff. Get rid of some stuff. <laughs> you mean action figure? Just turn his head. Wait, was there a pit here? I mean, this is like a pit that only opens up if you go in there once. I've seen a couple of those, actually. I was going to say, because I definitely came down here looking for <laughs> a way up before. Actually, I'm just going to levitate back up. What am I doing? It's going to go all the way back around. It's like, wait a second. I've got a spell for that. Hello. Some big hits in. I was. Now he's. God damn it. He's doing really good. Uh, actually, cartridge, I think, is my last. Load cartridge. Definitely don't see the pits until you walk over them. It doesn't seem as like bad as the normal ones. Like he's not absolutely murdering me like most of the ones. <clears throat> Spoke too soon. Helping them missing every hit now. God damn it. <sighs> Invisibit technology, yep. It wasn't until, you know, I said that and he's like, oh yeah, you you watch. Watch your mouth, son. Stab, stab.
പിടിക്കും thing you need woke up for you to get frustrated? Yes. Hey Obamacare, how's it going? You know you want to play the wizardry, the fun wizardry game. How far have you gotten wizardry for? deep that is. Ferdinand <laughs> will have his revenge. Yes, he will. How many times have he died in that game? healing potions? Not really. I don't think I need all these diamonds and stuff. I've been carrying them just in case, but... Okay, we are above the central area. It's a lot of, uh... Secret doors here. Seems to be just like a central area to go through each of these areas. So too many to count, gotcha. <laughs> the death counter broke at uh, 1,000. Sharp sword. This would be a free sharp sword if you were avoiding all those red dudes up to this point. So here the red dude. Nice. Double win. Double seven. game is beyond Jaguar quality. I can officially say this is the best RPG on the Jaguar. I don't think anyone's ever, ever going to argue that. Ugh. <sighs> 
Come on, hit him. <clears throat> hit him. One more time. Okay, two more times. Whew. That was very close. How many days have I slept? <laughs> Good love RPGs where sleeping just heals you the full. Oh, you're missing an arm and leg and and, and half of your uh, your skull is uh, torn asunder, but eh, just sleep it off. You're fine. these keys in a uh, in a spot in case I need them if you need sleep I know right sleep there's the bottom half of this place here Hmm. <sighs> uh... Gotta be a pit in that hallway. Did I miss one? No. This game I had to put on a hold uh, a long time back because Jaguar emulation was very iffy. Uh, There's only one emulator that even ran it past the title screen and unfortunately it was it was fairly crashy and there was a point where it crashed and wiped my save file. So I pretty much put this on a, uh, a semi-permanent hold, never expecting a Jaguar emulation to ever, you know, any good Jaguar emulation to be released, but now we have a good Jaguar emulator. Thanks to the team at Digital Eclipse. <laughs> now we got a working one. We get to play this wonderful gem now. And here I thought I could be safe, never have to play it. <laughs> Digital Eclipse is like, nope, we need to make an emulator. Land needs to play this. Thanks, guys. Still so, like these controls still like even after well I was gonna say 12 hours but I mean I've only been playing this version or the last seven hours or so it's the other half you should save for doing that hit correct <sighs> it was uh, a little over five hours
We're gonna help in the guard. Need a blade. I don't know how they were how we're gonna put these together. Maybe that that uh pedestal thing I saw. I don't wanna carry all these quivers. Like bows are okay, but range. Okay, I need to find a good place to put these keys. That's what I need to do. Put them at the entrance of the uh, the floor. Let's put them like right in the middle here. The ones that I I've used. I haven't used this one yet. I haven't used this one. Just gotta keep those two just in case. I'm really curious with this resurrection potion, uh, potion of speed. I really need a potion of speed. This I don't, I don't need anymore because I, I was supposed to trade it to, to a dude for information, but of course I reloaded after giving them this item, so I doubt we're gonna need it again. I doubt we're gonna need this either. There's like a whole bunch of black pearls and everything. I don't know if they're useful for anything. Yeah, <clears throat> might get beaten today. Unless it's one of those final bosses that just rip me a new one, as they're prone to doing. All right, so should be uh, some some way to fall down to that bottom left uh, one. Need that. Fall into that central area. <laughs> One game retrieved from Nep Nep, yeah. Chains with these ones, or is this mm. not seem rather pointless? <laughs> Nothing here but a dude. Did a dude drop anything? Problem is with items, is sometimes they'll be like behind their corpse, so it's hard to spot, but uh, it doesn't seem like anything. This is bones. Kotor, yep. Gonna be good. So with this one... I think this works on the southern door. I don't know if I tried both doors. We got this off a random corpse in this area. No. Hmm. All right, where did I fall in?
It would suck if you didn't have the levitation spell and wait. Is there a way back up? There it is. You didn't have the levitation spell and uh, don't have a levitation potion. You could definitely soft lock yourself in this. Oh, I definitely have, yeah. Yeah, Kotor played on PC back in the day. Played both the light and dark, so. We'll probably do a, uh, we'll probably do a Sith playthrough for the hell of it. I love KOTOR. It's been a long time since I played it though, so... I don't remember much about the, uh, the general, you know, gameplay of it in areas or whatever. So it's still gonna be relatively fresh, but... Definitely, definitely not going into it completely blind. Yeah, Magic Pendulum would definitely have been like, you know, the guilty pleasure back in the day. Picked up a copy of Magic Pendulum for like five bucks and played for like hours. Dark side, yep. I don't have feelings. <sighs> Won't run in your run in your PC, so you have to buy the Switch version. How old is your PC that you can't run Kotor? <laughs> you have like a twenty-year-old PC, you can run Kotor. Maybe not the the newer version or whatever. Gotcha, yeah, I guess that can make sense. Yeah, they probably didn't update it with the, uh, make it work on modern computers. Looks like there should be something here. There's a lot of these areas that just, like, you get a dead end, but there's nothing. It's like, <laughs> it feels like something should be here. Something on the ground, like, give me, like, I don't know. Ocean. Give me some point of going here. No, give me a dude to fight. <laughs> Can't play Deus Ex 2. Oh man. That sucks. There's down? Hmm. Is there... These are stairs up? No. Oh. Oh, those are stairs down. Is it good taking stairs here? Oh well. Invisible War. Yeah, that's gonna be a wonderful one. Bowels of Hell. <laughs> I 
I somehow survived this, <laughs> I was gonna say. It'd be amazing, but... Only 12, yeah. A lot of those are like remakes and stuff like that. Like, you know, Rebirth 1. But of course, it's different enough in the original that I'll play the original too. I don't know about the later ones, like... <sighs> Like, how different is MK2 versus, you know, the Rebirth, Rebirth 2, <sighs> and so on and so forth. Goes off to check. Food. That wastes. Two food is good. Technically, one food is good, but I was like having the second one just in case. Kidding about the bells of hell. Jesus. Should really overwrite my uh, memory save in case I like load the memory save and then save the cartridge save or something. hits here. I don't know if blocking even does anything. It does seem like I take less hits when I, I block, so, so I must do some sort of uh, some sort of protection. <clears throat> I need to go down there and make sure there's nothing at the bottom. Kind of panicking too much to take a look of uh, if there's any objects. supposed to do with all these, uh, like all these items. Here, I'm going to combine them, but... <sighs> must be a safe area here, but... Can't exactly pick up the object either. Red bleed. the pieces for this sword. I don't know how I'm supposed to use them. Maybe I need to bring them to that, that portal thing. Or can I combine them together somehow? Doesn't seem like it.
Alright. Last section. One quadrant. Yep, save the best for last. <laughs> the last for last, because I haven't seen any stairs up in any of the other ones. <laughs> Not the Gamma Quadrant. We'll never get back to the Delta Quadrant. Or the Alpha Quadrant, or whatever the hell it is. We can do the Jazz Hands. Oh no, Jazz Hands. Jazz Hands of Doom! Hey, seriously, how much help does this guy have? Finally. Russell. He totally is. take us anywhere particularly useful. Oh. Well, it's really down the list now. It's a stronger heal. <sighs> yeah. Pointless hole. Could I have teleported up there? Hmm. I mean, that wasn't that wasn't like a like an invisible one that only showed up when we stepped on it. So that one I potentially could have spotted from below quite a bit. They they were mostly in order up to this point, and then we skipped one here, which I thought maybe I missed one in the previous floor, and then we went, got this levitate one that was like <laughs> another three here missing. I'm assuming every spot's gonna be full by the end of the game. Which, I mean, if there's one one per floor, would make sense, right? Uh, maybe more. No, yeah, see. So yeah, there'd be like one more row. So, I don't know. Hard to tell. Of course, other than the levitate one and create food, most of the other ones have been pretty useless, so... Levitate one's just <laughs> extremely good to have. You don't care to carry around pocket full of those levitation potions. You don't have to worry about running out of levitation. Oh, I found the, found the uh, hole there, this place. I don't know what wind mastery is supposed to do, but he's like just slightly move me backwards. Any goodies in here? Not even. Nope. Alright. 
Alright, so this is how you actually get to the uh, the next one. Gotta finish exploring this floor first, though. Gonna have a sad flight home from Minneapolis. The Vikings lost the game, oh no! Guess he's a, he's a big fan. Before I go back, I uh, go upstairs. I want to bring the uh, the sword and hilt and all that shit to the to that pedestal thing. See if that uh, does anything. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to combine items, but. down is over there. Just find a pit. Holy Avenger Sword. Ooh, I can send that. So 6 to 26 right now. Really? 7 to 14? Or 5 to 14? That's like worse than my Sword of Frost. <laughs> yeah, it's worse. What the fuck? My attack is higher, though. Maybe that means I can actually, like, hit uh, more often. Or maybe like a better chance at crits. Mm. Try it out. Yeah, I don't you love when companies do that? Well, it's a new version, but like, let's get rid of the old versions because we want you to buy the new versions. Like when they then they do that same thing with Grand Theft Auto games and that, and of course release the the remastered trilogy, which is like super broken <laughs> and like worse than the originals and. And stuff like, you know, Destiny versus Destiny 2 and so on and so forth. Love and companies just do that shit. Yeah. Well, if they don't want you to get it legitimately, 
you know what you must do. Sleep <laughs> while levitating above the whole <clears throat> comfy spot. Boobs down at 14. Alright, on to level 8. <clears throat> on to level 7. To level eight. Two thirds of the way through the game. Still haven't hit a big teleporter maze. It's just a matter of time. <sighs> <sighs <sighs> oh, yeah, this one's critting a lot, so. It only took three hits to kill that guy, versus your other one took way more, so that extra attack, even though the the apparent, like, damage uh, range is, is worse. The, the attack just... The crit, crit, crit. <laughs> so I like... Oh, Kim and cast heal. <laughs> Too expensive. So much for that one. corners just to make it look fancier as you go up. <laughs> Damn. Alright, this new sword is... Uh, maybe it's just really strong against undead. <clears throat> which would make sense, being a holy avenger and all that. Yeah, maybe there is, like, uh... There's, like, actual elemental effects on these weapons. Massacring everything now. I'm gonna say, <laughs> this looks like a suspicious wall. Let's put two candles bracketing it locked. Any of the keys I have? No such luck. It's probably a port chain somewhere. Like the sword. <laughs> when I saw the damage, it was like, uh, you know, this is this is going to be kind of meh. <laughs> but apparently, two extra attack power means you're just going to kill everything in one hit, <clears throat> <clears throat> or two max. I seem to be hitting a lot, like most of the time, not missing, which is even more important.
back here. And explore the middle. Diablo sauce. Ooh, new helmet. An open helm. Alright, so we have 13 defense. 14 defense. these arrows. Why kite something when I can just murder them really quick with sword. Like that. Rip. Nearby is uh, see how fast I kill these bastards. Three hits. <laughs> Survived three hits. next 10 minutes anyways. Or a trap. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where that was, but... Oh, 
levels up on the zombie. It's pretty sad. I wonder if we'll reach level 10 by the uh, end of this. We've only got like four floors left after this, so we're almost done this floor. There should be something in the middle here, but I don't see nothing. Unless there's a I'm really been looking at the ceilings. Nope, no hole in the ceiling. this just to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, just with, why would I need it? I already have one. I don't need another one. I'm never really going to use magic. I'm a, I'm an RPG hoarder. It's what I do. Man, no inventory room for this, like, 20th rod that I'll never use. What can I do? This one here is just like a locked door. Hmm. I haven't seen anywhere. No pull chains or anything. Unless there's their secret like pits or something. Nothing below us that would chain or something in one of these, or a key. No. Nothing on the ground. No. Hmm. Oh, there's that spot over there that we haven't explored, but kind of running out of places here. Maybe the other the other bottom might have a secret door. Hopefully none of these guys have dropped keys. He's
right, anything in here? Unless I need to, like, levitate up to uh, the top floor, but... Like, the only thing with a switch in this place is the, uh, the one in the middle of that, that cross to the north of us. But that just sets off the trap. Let's make sure there's no other secret doors on, on this, uh, other than the obvious one. Doesn't seem like it. Check the other side there, on the southern edge. I either need a pull chain to unlock this, or I need a, a key. Use the sword as a key. I've never used this key yet. Secret doors on the southern edge here. <sighs> this is like either there's a way of teleporting up, or maybe on this uh, on this map, maybe a way of teleporting up to this one. This is definitely the most suspicious spot right here, but of course, let's see what happens if we get hit by that by that trap. Like maybe that'll I don't know teleport us somewhere. Like maybe because those those definitely look weird. Those those green things that they're shooting at. Those could be some sort of weird teleportation thing. Odd. Hmm. Who doesn't? Just had to get hit by that. It's like the only thing left. <laughs> I tried everything else. <laughs> it's, it's 
expecting a lot. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Well, at least we know what to do now. Wait, I feel all already. ready. I mean, that was weird. is useless. Useless, I say. Not hungry. Fine. I killed that guy in three hits last time. <laughs> that was insanely lucky last time. I must have hit him with like the maximum damage every time. this key. Damn it. Damn it. Or maybe. No, because the orb doesn't count as a key because otherwise it would say this key does not fit. One of these guys drop a key. didn't really help me much. <laughs> I got in this, but still need a fucking key. that thing again. There's one coming from the other directions, maybe being hit by it again will unlock the second door.
that's not making me feel odd again. Also these bones things. One thing I haven't tried is uh There was like the whole putting a potion on bones thing in that uh we do have the resurrection potion. Maybe that's actually an item, not like a never tried actually using that. Note about that dude who like resurrected those people and then like they came back and like murdered everybody. Oh, there we go. So maybe I, I should have been doing that to all those dudes. Sirius, leader of the sages of the council, be warned of the Iron Guardian. All forms of magic weapons barely scratches metal skin. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, that was the iron those were the, the guardians uh so maybe, yeah, maybe you need to go back to the library now. All forms of magic and weapons barely scratch its metal skin. Well, that doesn't really help me. But at least now I know I can... I was wondering, like, it's a resurrection potion. I need to go back to all these dudes. Thank the I'm Chair, leader of the Knights of the Council. Your next task lies behind that door. Here's a, here's a key and a potion to heal your wounds I gave you. All right, I need to go back to to every single person now. Do I need another healing potion? Yeah, hoarding these. I told these guys are probably going to give me tips, maybe items too, because clearly that dude just gave me an item. Yeah, exactly. A very good chance. Almost, almost a given actually. Now that I think about it, because we kill a lot of those dudes, and those bleach bones wouldn't move, right? So they don't want you to like move them and you know maybe accidentally like destroy them or whatever. Up on somewhere where there is, uh... but I don't know if any of those spells would be useful. Like I'm barely There's one right here. Through second stage of the council, you have allowed me to cheat fate. Take this stone. Stone of magic. These stones just seem to. Gives me more mana. Throw it in the bag, never use it. At this point, I can get rid of this, I'm pretty sure. Never gonna use that again. Problem is, I don't remember where, like, all these dudes are, and I just have to go find... Fuck. <laughs> Damn it, game, what... <sighs> I 
works. I had to figure that out, like, right when I was... If, if they made me stuck earlier on, then I would have started doing it earlier on. Now it's like, well, I... Did everything I could think of. And I vaguely remember that... That passage about dude dropping some potion onto whoever, and then that person killing them. Trying to recall if there's any more dudes on this floor. I mean, they might not have anything important either. Like that one about the clue, about the oh, there's like nothing can scratch them. Well, that's pretty pointless. <laughs> but you know, a key that lets you go to the next area. That's kind of critical. Yeah. But I found it strange, like, why do we have a resurrection potion? Like, what, what are we going to drink that after after we die? That doesn't work too well. Going on to it in case it was important. And I, I figured, like, it was a one-time use thing, so it's like, alright, let's try it out. <laughs> and it's multi-use, apparently. Where's the, where's the stairs? Bones were pretty separated from his corpse there. I'll just keep this equipped in my hand. <laughs> I'm Ector, a third sage of the council. This potion was never meant for us, but at least we were alive. Right. Yeah, I'm thinking most of these are just going to be useless info anyways. Right, thanks! I don't think it would have allowed us to get this far if it was stuff that was definitely needed. But more than likely it's going to be, uh... Use it on these things? More than likely it's going to be, like, spell scrolls or something. I oh, I guess you can use it on normal... <clears throat> on normal bones. you can use it on seem to have that like slightly different icon I'm alive I'm the scribe for the council and do not know how to thank you all I have is this rusty sword to give you so please take it uh, no this is like actually a good sword sort of rust hmm might be important actually surprisingly decent 513 it's not as good as this by 14 attack is the same though which is weird it's not as good as the Avenger sword but almost as you've slain the enemy with uh, tetanus <laughs> they get to all those like Places with the pits and everything, and I'm definitely going to be missing some, but I need to at least go into the into the places that had uh, those little trap areas. Each of those had one. All those red dudes, and there's another red dude on top. Oh, 
no? That's right. Yes. It was awesome. And Gual, ninth sage of the council nine. Salvan is afraid that many will come to defeat him, so he destroyed these floors and littered them with pits. He never would expect a single person to try to engage him. Yeah. Seems like the majority of these are pretty pointless, like coming back is but I'm sure there's gonna be at least at least one's gonna have a spell, guaranteed, if not like three or four. This one only had like what? <sighs> this one had a couple dudes. There's there's two red dudes and a and a fire dude. I think if I vaguely remember. Yeah, we're in a, we're in a tower. Tower of power. Two towers, technically. <laughs> towers two. We're going upstairs, not down. Oh, there's the fire dude. Fire. Oh, his bones not there. Oh, his bones are like all the way over here. It was clearly like. Uh, not saving the location of the bones and the corpse in the same spot. I'm Ryan, sixth sage of the council. Time is of the essence, so I'll save my thanks. Saris and Jared guard in Salbon's quarters. You must help them. Well, you can organize the town. Should you fail against Saron? <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> this guy basically mentioned the two that I, I just killed last there. One of the guard dudes was this way. It's not this way. And we're killing in this room over here. I'm Morgan, fifth knight of the council. By energizing the blade hilt and guard of the holy sword, it will reform. Oh, I did that. <laughs> Figured that out myself. The other one, I think I killed the other one. Oops. I know I first encountered him over here, but I don't know if I killed him here. Oh, we kited him for a while. Gonna say, can I revive just dead corpses, like skeletons and stuff? Let's go upstairs and if I absolutely get stuck, then I'll come back to these places. But Elnor, ninth, ninth knight, no evil can touch any of the pieces of the holy sword. So Salvon has them heavily guarded. All right, it's basically pointless. <clears throat> All right, uh, back upstairs.
one didn't have. Uh, actually, no. There was there was one dude in here. There's one one fire dude. Maybe, maybe this one might actually have something, considering there was like nothing else in here. I'm like, why is there like nothing here? So it would actually make sense if this dude had something useful. Spell or something. Sage, only the pure of heart can return from the dead. I have served my faith well. Thank you for your help. Never mind. Yeah, they don't seem to respawn. Which, I mean, is kind of difficult in these in this era. They don't want you to like grind for XP or whatever. Through heat is light in your destiny. All right. Bell to uh, grab the uh, sword. Sage, bring me a black pearl bloodstone and diamond. Okay. Well, we did have all those, and I dropped them all at some point. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I think I, I think like literally just upstairs there was a like I left a black pearl and diamond. I I don't know if I have the bloodstone anywhere nearby though. I have to go back down. I think just before falling down here, I saw like. What a coincidence, I left these right here. What the fuck? Bloodstone, though. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go back to the fireplace because I have no idea where I left the bloodstone. I think I dropped that earlier. Well, I guess we're going back down to the fire area. Uh, while we're here, uh, let's go to that place over here. sword is coupled with the strong magic is only way to defeat Salvon. Okay, so we definitely need that Holy Avenger. I mean, I, I would have had it anyways, so I probably would have been using it until I uh, coupled the strong magic. Maybe I need to keep that magic mace. Where the hell did I put the magic mace? Shit.
Oh, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the one with the scribe, right? Oh. <sighs> good thing one of us has a good memory. <laughs> I don't know if that's what he means, but... Mordred, 7th Knight of the Council, Slavon tried to break out of the magical field. As a result, we ripped a hole of raw energy in the southwest wall. One floor down... Or he ripped a hole in the raw energy in the southwest wall. Is that the, the portal thing? Yeah. I kind of wish I knew where I left the bloodstone, because I think I got rid of it in, like, somewhere in this area, but... I know I can go back down and get some more, so it's not the, not the biggest loss, but... Kind of annoying. Indeed. I used to see a redstone somewhere. Oh. <laughs> I saw the course, so I didn't see the, the, the spirit. Or was on top of it. Ah, oh. it's close. <laughs> yeah. God, the controls in this. It's like constantly fighting with the controller in this. Jared and sell one in the next floor. I mean, well, that's kind of pointless. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go down to the fire area to get another bloodstone. Is what floor five, I think. Yeah, at this point, screw these quivers and shit. You know, now I'm going to need uh, a bow. I just know it. In there. Or 
four is where the uh, Okay, I'm just gonna go to the fire area. Sure, kill those air elementals too. <laughs> I got this holy sword to screw them. Killing me all those times. If I could find a uh, bloodstone, really handy. Oh, southern area. A million here. from all despawned now. <laughs> God. There's a bunch here. There's one. And a diamond and a black pearl. <laughs> so even if I had like dropped my diamond and black pearl, I would have like gotten everything in this one spot. Like I, if I didn't know where I left them or didn't spot them. save red air elementals in my revenge or not these guys are just they're literally invulnerable wow I'm using the holy avenger's sword yeah that's kind of bullshit This is an RPG. Like a, it's like a dungeon crawler style RPG. You got like experience, stats, got dungeon crawling, you know, puzzles. Uh, water side. Which one was the water side? This one. Runs at like a whopping five frames per second. Alright, now we gotta get back, stomp off, and grab that uh, mace just in case. Uh, so we need to go up and then back into that pit. I wonder if that black key opens up that uh, middle area as well. Instead of having to like fall back down. I got spell. Damn it. Probably no way of getting through that door short of uh falling. We need to go up the... Probably. But... 
Considering the majority of them just had, like, information, I'm not super worried about it. Then again, this one here... I mean, this one was pretty central, so... I, I, this makes sense that this one had something important. This is kind of, like, right in the middle. With nothing else. Like, this big-ass open room for him by himself. I mean, if they have a spell or something, because I'm definitely missing some spells, but, like, the majority of spells I, I, I don't use anyways because they're too expensive or they're useless. <laughs> the, only, the only two I've been using is this one here and this one here to create food. That's it. I'm talking about food. I almost need some. I, like, without create food, this would be... I would have definitely been starving to death. I'm assuming if you don't have food, you just can't sleep anymore, which would be a death sentence. I don't know if you would actually actively uh, lose health, but you would definitely not be able to gain it. <laughs> Short of using health potions. You'd have to, like, save scum every fight and hope you don't take any damage. Bloodstone, Black Pearl, and a Diamond. Here's what I promised. Spell. Or of Death. Okay, so a spell that, you know, might not even need any... Uh, maybe it just... Maybe it prevents me from taking, like, massive damage from... It could be useful, but it might not be necessary particularly. Find out? Find out, first of all, if I can even cast it. <laughs> it uses my entire mana pool. And... I, I don't know if... I don't know how long it lasts. <laughs> Either way. All they needed. Maybe it's needed, I don't know. Alright. Yeah, death my mana. R.I.P. mana. Uh, need to go there. Anything else I want to drop off? Still need to keep this thing because it might be important. Oh, yeah, I want, I want to get that mace just in case. That was down here, right? Yeah, in the south area, I think. somewhere. area? Hmm. In the northwest? There's definitely inside of a room. Of course, but I didn't see the uh, spirit slightly off off the side. There it is. Good memory, new guard. Just in case it's needed. I'm gonna take this too, just 
for the hell of it. I mean, maybe it's needed too. Maybe you can, like, de-rest it. Alright. Yeah, we need to go up and then down and then up and then down and then... here we haven't splashed the enter cell phone's room must be struck by two forms of energy okay I figured that out by myself <laughs> it's a lock secret door to enter it's like I, I don't know what else to try let me just try getting hit by these weird things sure enough it worked I mean, figuring this out earlier would have been a lot easier. <laughs> would have made this infinitely better. First of all, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be missing any of these, because I would have used it on the dudes as soon as I killed them. two keys are for like this one we got from the dude and this one here we got from like a random corpse downstairs and never seemed to have a use oh very likely there's one right here <laughs> that count This is, I don't think this is a sage, I think this is the Sauron dude. Do we need to hit this guy with like magic or something? To use that anti or the aura of death thing, maybe. They didn't leave any bones, so <laughs> I think that was the boss. It just we, we cheesed them there, I think. There, he's like stuck on the corner, so he couldn't attack me. Take it. Yeah, it seems like that Aura of Death thing did some good damage to him, because it did like that nice, big, chunky, critical thing. I don't think it was necessarily needed, it was just, you know, if you're a mage, that's basically how you're going to do damage. I just happened to, you know... That's the door behind us. I'm assuming it doesn't look like there's any bones, so yeah. It's not anything. Hey. Would have been nice if they gave him some sort of like different look or something. Yeah, so I don't think I needed uh so I think I think the whole magic thing was the aura of death, so yeah, maybe I needed it no matter what. But I don't think this mace is needed anymore. In fact I'm gonna Fucking some stairs here. I'm gonna dump all the all the stuff that seems to have used have been like used up its uh, its usefulness in front of the stairs. That way, at least you know somewhere central, like near the stairs. So this I've used. This I doubt we're gonna need anymore. There's probably no more dudes who drop bones. 
This I'm pretty sure was only to unlock that door, which we've already done. Uh, these two keys, still haven't gotten any use out of them. And... Keep these just in case. I thought the sort of Rust, I think that sort of Rust would have been useful... I'm gonna drop it here. Would have been useful before I got the, uh, the Avengers sword. I'm gonna drop the Sharp Sword too. Yeah, clean up some inventory room. In before the, uh, <laughs> the save file doesn't actually save the location of all the dropped items. Alright. Level 9. Last third of the game. Friend? Oops. Hmm. Keep a key on him. He's not attacking, but I'm also. somewhere. Not a good start. Maybe we need the, maybe the rusty sword will like rest them. And then they'll be let's try the mace. Let's try the sort of rust. direction potion we do anything. I mean it's weird that there's this spot on the floor like it's clearly like a uh, pressure plate but you didn't just need to punch these guys. He said he said most or like what did he say exactly like weapons and magic are most weapons, or...? Maybe, like, we punch them. Let's try this first. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so, so these guys are uh, weak to sort of rust. Which makes sense, they're like iron, right? still hit really fucking hard. <clears throat> if I go back down, do they heal up, I wonder? My sleep. No, maybe you should go back down. Well, no, I still don't have a key to get through those, uh, those gates in the library. <clears throat> okay, good. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Sort of rust needed for iron golems. Makes actual sense. Mass sword? Give you shit. 7 to 37. Nice damage, but uh, yeah, considering uh, we can't wear armor <laughs> while using it. Enemy <laughs> defeated by inability to use stairs, yeah. I'm assuming we're going to run into more of these golems here, so let's keep the Sword of Rust equipped.
The door opened, uh... You get to put the mass sword on top of that plate. I hope I didn't have to kill him on top of that thing. Let's see... soft lock myself so that door definitely opened when it moved yeah maybe I'm gonna reload first just to see definitely need this Morton? Yeah, it's a Daggerfall like. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we need to kill him on this spot right here. Which is kind of annoying if you literally need to kill him on this one spot. Fuck, I need to, like, not. <laughs> Which is like ridiculous. I mean, if I if I didn't if I had saved there after killing them, that would have been like soft locked. This this long into the game, just like oh, you just lost some bullshit stuff. Unless he respawns, I didn't go back down. No, I did go back down and back up, and you didn't respawn. So. So that, yeah, that's that's kind of bad. Unless you need like a lot of, maybe you just need a lot of weight on it. Like I, I threw that sort of mass, but maybe if I threw a bunch of rocks, it would have like weighted down and activated it. But more than likely, you need to kill him specifically on it. It's kind of bullshit. <clears throat> Bullshit. Yeah. Should be using memory saves here in case I like fuck myself up. Well, I should be safe to save now, I'm assuming, considering that door's open. Is that like a female alien? Like, <laughs> what am I looking at? Alien wearing a dress. So you're what Dagon warned us about. Since you made it this far, that will be no match for you, but I can help you. Get me the lucky eye stock from the trainer. Alright. Not sure what trainer she's talking about. I'm assuming stock isn't like an S T A L K nut. S T O C K because that makes no sense. Unless he's made like a soup of eyes, <laughs> you just need that the nice soup stock. Yeah. 
Now we're fighting beholders. Okay, I probably want to use my other sword here. God. Need for magic users. One shots here. Yeah. So don't, don't go down that path. <laughs> Unless you like to die. Doing so much fucking damage. He looks pissed. He's been having a, a bad day. Okay, everything has like a million fucking hit points. Yeah, this game is pretty jank. <laughs> if this was, if this game on PC would have done horribly, but yeah, you know, throw it on the Jaguar. I mean, it still did horribly, but you know what I mean. It's <laughs> at least it's, it's the only RPG on the Jaguar. Not a lot of competition there. Save. I know it came out on PC, but I mean, it obviously didn't do very well because, you know, this game in 1996. I'm not going to find a use of that bronze key. <laughs> she just hit herself with her own magic. Even the mages have like a million fucking hit points. Make sure that eyeball isn't about to massacre us there. Yeah, it was Atari. Atari Jaguar. And the only reason I'm playing this now is because, uh... 
We actually have good Atari Jaguar emulation now. Are you taking my magic? Yeah, he's taking my mana. Which is fine with me. I'm the magic user. Yep. Guess that wasn't the master, quote unquote. Nice if they stop moving so you can try talking to them, and I'd accidentally stab them. Stop moving. Assassins, assassins, sound the alarm. Security. Wait, are we in the security room? A sharp sword would be, would be a better idea now. Now that we're past the, uh... Probably you need to kill, like, friendly characters for keys. Just like in the first floor, you had to kill a janitor for a golden key. It wasn't attacking or anything. You could talk to him, but nope, you gotta kill him. <laughs> gotta get this key. Kidding, right? <sighs> Got those two of those. <sighs> I'm doing a good job of hitting the second one. What the fuck? Even the door bays is like really hard. Uh, well, there's the Atari VCS or something, whatever. But depends if you count that. <laughs> I don't think I would count that. Didn't they sell like less than like? 10,000 units of that and stop manufacturing it at this point. <clears throat> yeah, some of these models are weird. It's like pseudo 3D. I mean, it's clearly some like. I, I don't know if they are like some sort of weird clay things or just some really like primitive CG. It can go either way considering how low res they are. Which one, the VCS or the Jaguar? The Jaguar is known, just nobody cared. Everybody did the math, realized it was crap. Doesn't fit, come. On. One day I'll find a key. I think the silver key would have okay. I think the silver key would open these doors, considering that was dropped by the security officer, which I'm assuming was supposed to be the warden or jailer or whatever, but
The VCS, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's basically Atari's attempt at making another console recently, which flopped miserably because it's like, hey, let's make a basically a digital console. Let's make an overpriced PC. Another secret. Crushing hand. We definitely missed two spells at this point. Quite clear that I missed two spells. Probably nothing that I'm ever going to use, so whatever, but. We oh, yeah, had to release another handheld. have got to stop the Dagon. If he leaves, no one will pay us. He might be in his secret office in this floor. Or he might not. The light created our lives. The light created our magic. But from whose skies was the light created? That is the riddle of Nagan's dream. He thinks he found the answer. Flashback? Yeah, I mean, Atari is obviously a shell of its former self, considering, you know, it's not Atari anymore. It's not owned by the, you know, same company that owned Atari back then, so... But at least they're they're you know they're they're attempting stuff like that Atari 50, which obviously wasn't Atari that made it, but you know like stuff like that. At least is kind of going back to the roots. But then they make stuff like the VCS, which just fails miserably because they don't know how to. <laughs> Trying, trying to make a new console that really doesn't have anything going for it is going to fail miserably in this uh, in this industry. They make a sixth gen console? Uh, don't think so. And at that point, Atari basically kind of disappeared. My mana. The, the Jaguar, I think, was their last console as, an, like, actually Atari, and not, you know, another company that basically bought <clears throat> the name Atari. <clears throat> God, why are these mages so tanky? <clears throat> cast heal yet? Nope. <laughs> Still don't have enough mana. I don't know how much is needed for heal, but more than I have. More if it's like a full heal. Yep. He said. Yeah, let's go. I'm a lot further than I was last time. Seven. 
15 months. With the 63 months. Awesome support. Thank you so much for the 63 months, Seb. But yeah, definitely doing better on this one. I mean, the game still runs like ass because it's, you know, Jaguar, but at least at least it doesn't crash. Simulator is quite reliable. I mean, I've never played this game on Jaguar, so I don't know how accurate it is, but I'm assuming it's... But, oh shit, no, didn't mean to... I'm trying to talk to them. It's really hard talking to them sometimes when you... Because they keep moving around so fast. Aren't we all? Seven stream babies. A lot of babies. Sixty-three months. You're almost ready for retirement. My friend is held prisoner. Free him and I will help you. Using the cell at the southwest corner of this floor. Southwest. Suddenly attack her. <laughs> Look at these guys seem to do no damage. They seem to like mainly sap your uh, your mana, which is not really a problem as a warrior. I guess we kind of suck fighting these guys as a mage. I'm gonna say I think anything else would be scarier as a mage because you probably have less health, so anything else would just murder your face. But you'd probably be able to nuke things from range. So, running kennel. Something else is attacking me. Hello. Kind of need to heal here. God, there's so many of them. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh god, it was a mistake. I was gonna say this one too close. Oh god, and as I cast her. Oh man. Run! hoard all these uh, healing potions for like when I get to the final boss. I imagine the final boss is not going to be easy, so. tell you how much mana is required for these spells. I haven't tried crushing fist yet, but... <sighs> uh. I don't think that did too much damage, because <laughs> I'm still like, smacking this guy like 20 times in a row here.
assuming she's not a friendly one. She hasn't attacked us yet, so... Not that she was friendly, she just he hadn't spotted us. <laughs> Good thing friendly fire is a thing in this game. Damn it, it's my last save. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't seem to kill them. Guys kill them, kill each other. <laughs> okay, well, not with us in the middle, please. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ow. That was a worse spot to stand. It was a good idea, just really bad execution. took like massive damage there I think oh god damn it there's something behind me <laughs> I can't move anymore
I grow everything. Uh, this is nine? Yeah, nine. Shoot your magic. better just killing these one at a time. Trying to get one to kill the other one is not easy. Man, I'm doing so little damage. Like, you would think mages would be easier to kill. I will use them to kill the beholder dudes, though. If I can't. Momentum and turning. Here the one go. Crushing hand actually is a good start. Seems to do some pretty good damage. I feel hungry. Do I feel hungry or am I hungry? <laughs> I think you kind of feel hungry. I don't know. cartridge save. One of these things dropped it. I did hit that uh, friend.
I don't know what that is. I thought maybe it would have been this door here, but clearly not. Seems to be more of an armory than anything. I don't see anybody in there. It just seems to be maybe that her friend was that person over there that we just saw. Actually, there are more cells here. And in this one. person here. It's key anymore. Back here. You got maybe a prisoner because I asked him I asked for money. I mean, generally, yes. <laughs> yes, your boss for a raise is gonna put you in jail for the rest of your life. Come on. I'm assuming she's considered free now. People mage, hello. So I still know how to get to that armory, but maybe the uh, the friend of the one I freed will uh, give us the key for the armory. The central area here seems to have That's locked. Maybe a silver key. <laughs> Would figure as soon as I. Who's the one who told us to go save her friend? hand equipped. <laughs> I did not. Uh, Maybe I should like go grab that sharp sword back. I wonder if that would do more damage to these guys. It makes sense the Holy Avenger was doing massive damage to undead, but This stuff, it doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Here's what I promised. Oh, ice stock, okay. Okay, so this is the master she was talking about. I gotta go bring that to the other lady.
and she was at the entrance, which is all the way over there. Okay, do. Just we'll pick up that sharp sword while we're at it. I mean, the, the heavy sword would be the best bet, but that thing is massive and way too heavy. Enjoying it a little too much when he ever gets hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Didn't talk to her before. Uh... What's this? A mirror shield. Yeah, you watch, there's gonna be a Medusa. I mean, all the shields look the same, and I don't know, I don't even know if they do anything. I'm not sure if it's like one of those, uh. Oops. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if it's one of those, uh. I'm looking for. Get rid of this. No, no, let me keep on. See how much each of these things weigh. That one's like one pound, so. I'm just curious if I can pick up that sword and still wear my armor. I doubt it. No. That mass sword is way too fucking heavy. Tried. Let's get the sharp one. Six to twenty six. I think that's weird though, is the attack goes down, so I don't know I don't know exactly what the attack means. I'm not sure if that's like the the odds of actually hitting something, because it does seem like I was hitting more often with that other sword. This one? No, there was a, there was a Game Boy Color uh, tower. The original Towers 1 was on Game Boy Color. But this game here was on, I, on Jaguar and PC only, as far as I'm aware. Digimon World 4. No vote for Nep Nep. Ah, uh, Nep Nep. You would show up again. The, the Nep is, uh. is, is real. Sorry, Falcon. Must be like a Japanese one only. No, oh, cancelled, yeah. They, they were planning to bring it out of GBA and they cancelled it. Go 
because they did release the they, re they released the original towers on Game Boy Color, so it makes sense that they would have made a sequel on the uh, on a portable. Good. I wonder how this would run on GBA. Probably better than the Jaguar. That's the sad part. All right, let's see if I can kill these things faster now with this sharp sword. If I can find some. Hmm. If I can. Oh yeah, definitely bigger like splotches. Bigger splotches, but they don't seem to be dying any faster. Maybe because I'm missing more often. Oh, it's hard to tell if I'm doing more damage. This one is like smaller splotches, but I'm hitting every time. The other one I'm like getting bigger splotches, but I'm hitting less often. PC. <sighs> Two dudes. Level nine. I wonder if level ten is the maximum level. It's very Almost there. Almost at the top, too. Considering there's like a, there's a fixed amount of enemies. I basically killed everything I. Well, I mean, there's a couple more, a couple more of these casters here I'm probably going to leave alone, but. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure that. Attack is actually the chance of hitting. to go get that, uh, that mass sword. If I throw my armor in the in the uh, my my bag of holding there, I'll still bring it with me. I imagine these things probably don't do that much damage, but if I can kill them quicker. Well, it's a uh, Atari Jaguar game. Originally, the uh, when I played this, originally the Jaguar emulator that I was using was basically prone to crashing, and it ended up corrupting my save at one point. So basically, the game was unplayable. Uh, but they finally released a new Jaguar emulator that is basically perfect, <laughs> perfect emulation. So went back to it. No armor, but okay, seven to three, the thirty-seven to thirteen attack. So uh, it was a twenty. I don't know. I don't know when I played originally, like 2016, 2017, 20, 2018, probably. Be my guess. 
2016 was when I started RPG Quest, so yeah. I think 2018, so yeah. Pretty much five years. Well, four years technically, but still. Oh wow. Yeah, this sword is slow too. <laughs> This is the mass. This is as fast as I can swing it. Might do some damage, but uh, it can only hit once a, once an hour. Yeah. I thought he was just trying to make money. Simple as that. I'm trying to. BCS was a sad attempt. Trying to cash in on the Atari name. Alright, let's try on these bastards. <laughs> Missed the first shot. Good start. <sighs> it was a big, like, chunky. <sighs> This mirror shield reflects magic. That might actually be really good if that was the fact. I definitely kill this guy faster than with my regular sword, but. Also taking way more damage, so. Hmm. I think it's not worth it. But I tried. Bring it with me just in case. <laughs> Shadowgate. Well, I find that one's more of an, an adventure game. Then again, I, you know, I played a freaking werewolf game, but I'll blame that one on on the websites describing or uh, listing it as an RPG. Having played it. Yeah, it definitely is not an RPG. It's a hack and slash. As much of an RPG as God of War. <sighs> that thing must have been really close to death. this game faster. I mean, this is my second time playing, although I'm definitely way further than I was when I first played this. <laughs> 15 plus NPC. Good try, good try. I mean, you'd be angry too if you were like this little ugly short thing running around. Mm, jerky. I'm curious, uh, since I leveled up, I wonder if I have enough mana to cast uh, heal now. 
We get like what two mana for for uh, level. You. The big question is how much does it actually yield? <laughs> I I think I end up cheesing him. He, he got stuck in a corner, and he he's literally just standing there and like not attacking. So that was <laughs> that was super easy. So I I, I got lucky. He didn't hit me once. Treasury. You know what would have been better than, like, pieces of paper on the ground? Signs on the wall. Because it was too hard to program for 1996. Damn it. I got that, uh... Silver key, maybe. Yep, good love the cheese. Shadow your game on the Switch. Nintendo lists everything as an RPG. I went through the uh Nintendo lists Zelda as an RPG. <laughs> All the Zelda games. Like Link of the Past and stuff like that. So yeah, no no thank you, Nintendo. The good try, Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo doesn't have any any like First party RPGs and they're like, oh yeah, this is an RPG. Yeah, yeah, we need something to call an RPG. We'll just we'll just call this. Call it good. Alright, so hmm. Unless that silver key is used in some of these other doors, I don't know. There's that pull chain I pulled, but I don't know what that actually unlocked. I pulled it like at a certain point and then Unless I need to kill some of these other NPCs. I mean, I've, I've picked up everything I can from these guys, so might as well start murdering. Now it's second party. Super Mario RPG was made by Square. On behalf, of, like, for Nintendo kind of thing. Same thing with all the Mario and Luigi games. Those are all, like, second party. They're not... They're not, like, first-party studios for Nintendo, but... <clears throat> I'm curious if this reflects magic. It is not. So I don't know what Mirror Shield really does, if anything. Some more defense, maybe? Dream. I mean, everything is an RPG, technically. You know, in Pong, you play the role of a, of a paddle. Therefore, Pong is an RPG. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you want to be that, you know. RPG, uh, yeah, it's like RPG elements, right? RPG elements are common, especially in modern games. Like, frankly, every game has RPG elements nowadays.
Super Jam, yeah. Unfortunately. Fair, fair Jam on paper seems, no pun intended, seems like it would be a good match made in heaven, right? <sighs> but like, it's Mario and Luigi with, with uh, Paper Mario. <laughs> Heal still doesn't really heal that much for the amount of mana it costs. Still no keys. Yeah, it's like Mario. It's the last Mario and Luigi uh, game on. Well, the last Mario and Luigi game period, wasn't it? Last one on 3DS. None of these guys have dropped a key yet. Um, I'll try the silver key on the... Maybe one somewhere in that... Uh, I didn't really fully explore this area here. You need to use the revival potion on, on these bones. Last Paper Mario was on Switch, so Paper Mario is still going, technically, but it's a shell of its former self. Like Last Paper Mario, last Paper Mario that was actually like an R like a full-on RPG. Paper Mario was the GameCube one. And then they had Super Paper Mario, which is definitely more of a adventure game with some RPG elements, and then. Like sticker star and stuff, they pretty much stripped away most of the RPG elements. I still have them on my list, but it's uh, definitely not the same Paper Mario that we knew we, we once loved. Like, I don't know why they. You think they would go back to that style, but obviously they, they, they don't seem to care. <laughs> They figure that nobody wants that style. So, I, I don't know, like, is Big Mario selling well enough without that style? They, they figure that, you know, not not having RPG elements is, is a good thing. Or do anything else, I want to see if this silver key is good here. Huh. Alright, let's go try getting the revival potion. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. I mean, obviously the, the, the earlier Paper Mario's were definitely called classics, but they might not have been critical successes, right?
I'll sort of die, but <laughs> missing some keys. I've been checking these things for keys. Hmm. Or these things. Oh shit. Wow. Like, how the hell? Wow. Maybe if I was, like, on another side, I would have spotted it. Well, every time I go to a new area... This for the treasury... That's this one here. I guess it makes sense to drop around here. Go check around the treasury, maybe there's a... Uh, Keep it there. Silver key is done its time. Alright. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it helps me anyways. Unless the, the key also unlocks that other thing. Sort of thickness. Five to fifteen, non-magical. Or is it like just super fast? Faster, but not like night and day or anything. Crossbow of speed. I think I really care about crossbows. Doesn't really help me. New weapon, but let's hope this key works. Uh, Check all these freaking corpses. These ones here are so big that he's just getting enveloped by their bodies. And these things here, like. Been looking at humans, or not humans, but whatever the hell these things are considered. Beholders. Still nothing. Be this. No. No, of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Television song. You really love your television, though. There's a key. I'm going to see it while rotating around the sprite. It'll show up on, like, one side of the sprite. I don't think I need to check every one of these manually. As long as I, like, go round... Yeah, maybe, you know what? Maybe you'll get that... that, uh... Resurrection potion. Because there has to be a reason to go in there, and the only thing I can see is those bones. Yeah, the game's been pretty meh. And you could probably you probably notice the controls are very like the problem with the controls is they're they they have momentum, they have inertia. So like when you when you hold the button it's like slow well not slowly, but I mean you, you don't like rotate like full speed right away, you kind of speed up and when you let go you like slow down. Like it doesn't stop instantly, you have to like you basically have to constantly compensate for for how your char how the character is moving around, which is Really annoying when every button, even even in the uh, in this menu here, there's momentum for your fucking hand. <laughs> so like it speeds up and slows down after the press and release the buttons.
Mario Legacy games. Too, there's a uh, the south uh, east there. There's like a little passage. Did we miss a passage? Unless it was a dead end, I just assumed. There's definitely another thing below that. Look at this here. Nothing happens. Usually the bones you can use this on have like a different look, so that's why I didn't assume this would work. It's hard to explain, but it looks like a different sprite. No, no, it's, it's not an emulator setting. This is like the game. Like it, the original game was like this, or original. The other emulator was like this too. This emulator is actually like pretty accurate. It's just the game has this momentum thing. That's it's by design. It's freaking annoying. I mean, you kind of get used to it, so. Let's try the. No, I tried. I tried that other key at that. Uh... Make sure there's no key that was dropped near that treasury that I missed. The big hallway and all of those little these little dudes there. So there's a good chance one of them might have dropped a key. Trolls, <laughs> what the hell? Yep, yeah, tomorrow I'll be on. Two days off in a row, it's a miracle. I'd be surprised if I can finish this tonight, but <laughs> at the rate we're going now. It's might be fake too, because it looks like it's, it looks like there's gold, and what would we need gold? So this might be like something that we can't actually get into, because all I see there is just like what looks like piles of gold on the ground. Doesn't look like anything particularly needful, unless there's a switch or a key in there, but. I don't think this one might just be. Alright, let's see what's in the in the south, uh, just where we came in. It looks like there might be another passage there. Maybe there's a secret path there. I should reload and unkill all those people I killed, like... Yeah, let's do that. There's a reason I haven't saved in a while. I just didn't want to accidentally, like, kill somebody that was important, and they might still be important. Sort of quickness, which is meh. Actually, there was that one person who mentioned, like, yeah, I asked for money or whatever. So maybe, maybe we need to get into the treasury and get the money and give it to them? Hmm. 
Either way, I don't have any key that can get me in there. Yeah, see, there's the key. It was invisible from when I, from the direction I killed it. This freaking corpse just like hides it. No, I, I reloaded before I killed them all. I, I've been making sure not to save, just uh, I wanted to see if any of them had a, had another key. So it didn't seem like it. I mean, so far, I'm trying to think if any of the NPCs have ever, like, been required. Like, any any NPCs you can kill have been required to progress. Like, sometimes they give you they give you spells and stuff, but nothing that's critical. Uh, you know, the, the one dude who gave me the key that we had to use Resurrection Potion on was a... I'm assuming you can't kill them once you resurrect them, so... And either way, as soon as you re resurrect them, they give you the key, so even if you kill them at that point, the key's still on the ground, right? So, all the other ones have given us stuff that is helpful, like there's mirror shield and stuff like that, but nothing that, nothing has been anything that's been mission critical. So, I mean, potentially could have killed all the NPCs, maybe, I don't know. But, I mean... That's not to say this game doesn't have uh, soft locking stuff like that golem there. If I had killed that golem anywhere, but but on that plate, that would have soft locked me pretty far into the game. I mean, that's pretty rude. All right, is there a passage here? Oh yeah, right over here. There's something in here, hopefully. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's the one with the electricity. Hmm. Mirror shield. That's probably where the mirror shield is used a bit. Maybe the mirror shield actually saves us from that lightning. So yeah, maybe this one was... Maybe if we killed that NPC and didn't do that. Because this feels... Yeah, I didn't remember going here and then like I got murdered by the... Let's see... Shell protects us against the lightning. Nice. Head up. <laughs> I was gonna say it's probably more lightning. Score all the way around the map. <laughs> Apparently. So this probably this probably goes to the next level a bit. You have to do a, that little fetch quest thing between these in, different NPCs to get the mirror shield, and allows us to see it over here. But yeah, so I guess this was probably mission critical. So I don't know if there's be any other way to get in past those lightning. So as soon as I got hit by that last time, I like instantly died. right back to the beginning area if we wanted to not take this long corridor all the way back. Actually, we can... <sighs> I guess we can just take a shortcut back up too, right? No, that's actually a one-way trip. <laughs> it doesn't make a hole. That's kind of annoying. Did I save? <laughs> I think I did. save after, after going through the path, but it doesn't take that long to go through. Run! Uh, 
But it doesn't work against real magic, just this fake magic. But, and you didn't stop there, you were just like falling back and you'd have to restart the whole kind of a rude hole there. Clearly put there on purpose, not, you know, they could have easily put it on the side or something where, you know, you don't accidentally run into it. Nope. Alright, it's 410. Information has a price. Bring me a crystal ball. I've seen a lot of crystal balls and none that I could pick up. <laughs> I tried picking up every single one of them. The game's like, no, no crystal ball for you. God, these are rude holes. <sighs> yeah, I didn't die instantly there, so potentially you could probably get through without the, the mirror shield, but that would be very painful. Render a foe. What's up? Oh, is there a, yeah, there's a path above us here. Apparently I'm up. I, I saw the the hole before I talked to her, but oh, can't cast. missed like two spells so far. I was pretty thorough in those floors, so unless like unless the two sages I missed happen to be those spells. <laughs> yeah, typical uh, game of this era. Really tiny inventories. Attacking me! I didn't attack you. <clears throat> Fucking lightning bolt did. Jeez. How rude. Yeah, but nobody played the PC version, because why would they? Game, this game was like in 1996. If you played this in 1996 on PC, you would have like you would have gotten a refund. So much better games for PC in 96 for uh, for PCs. It's gonna be another set of troll dude. dudes, <clears throat> troglodytes. I don't know. <laughs> These are way too short to be trolls. <clears throat> they're like... They're like... Mini-ogres. Of course, if this, if this got released on PC, that means Core has to play this. <laughs> Core. 
Tomb Raider, yeah. Like when when the Baldur's Gate games come out. I mean, obviously different styles, not dungeon crawler there, but. <laughs> yeah. Another. Secret there too. New sword. Sort of luck. Mm, better chance of critting, maybe. Five, fifteen, twelve. 733.14. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely better. Kind of slow, though. Still. Probably better in the end. Dragonflies? They don't seem to be moving. Yeah, but... Be a little picky. More stairs. I guess. Are we above that central area? No. Yeah, for like 1996. This came out in like 86. <laughs> like this thing. I mean, look at look at Ultima Underworld compared to this. When did Ultima Underworld come out? Like a decade prior, more. Ultima Underworld came out before Wolfenstein. I mean. <laughs> It looks way more advanced than this. Ultimate Wonder Woman was way ahead of its time. Why did they have to play? Get back here. Not fun trying to chase things with these controls. <sighs> it was super impressive at the time. It was like mind blowing. Even had like 3D, you know, geometry, like 3D uh, levels. Like you would be able to like walk up and down. There's like freaking platforming, swim. I mean, it was like. 
super advanced. Thank you, found the observatory on the last floor. Have you ever been tested? I want to enter the test in the library before going further. Hmm. For the library, so we need to go all the way down the library before. We do have those that that we do have that rusty sword, but I don't have a key to get into the. Uh, I think we haven't found anything that <clears throat> potentially could have led us in the library yet. So maybe we'll get a key in this uh, area, and then I'll go all the way back down to floor <clears throat> five, which is going to be annoying as fuck. Core has to move out dungeon crawlers? Never. Seriously? It's <sighs> rude. sword. It kind of sucks we have these one-way paths down here. Hmm. You are not hungry. fall in the pit. Oh, 
over here first. Explore more of this area. What did she need again? She needed a uh, crystal ball. Tribal chicks, yeah. A lot of early PC games tried to get away with, you know, pixel nudity. Because why not? There's no regulations. You didn't have to go through, uh. You didn't have to go through. There was no ESRB. There was no, uh. You, know, you didn't have to go through, like, a licensor like Nintendo or whatever. You can do whatever the hell you wanted. Like, look at the wizardry game, for example. Wizardry loved, loved its, like, naked, uh... <laughs> naked sprites. <laughs> he soared my ass. <laughs> Ultimate, like, I was not into Ultima at all when I was younger, but I did play Ultima Underworld, and man, that game was amazing. For, for someone who totally was not into the Ultima series, and then playing that and just getting blown away, it was, I mean, it was just so advanced of its time, so ahead of its time, it was like, there's nothing else like it. It was really impressive 3D dungeon crawler. I, I never beat it back then, but... I had with it was great. <laughs> it's so hard to tell which one of these are going to be friendly and which ones aren't. Go through the side. <sighs> Run away. Run. Okay, made it. <laughs> Safe. Assuming she can't go across that gap. <laughs> well, even after the SRB, her parents didn't didn't have a clue. Little Jimmy wants Grand Theft Auto? Okay, sure. Video games are for kids, right? He wants the Grand Theft Auto for his Nintendo. I mean, part of, part of that was, you know, like Nintendo branding it as a as a kid-friendly, you know, basically a kid a kid boy basically for the longest time so parents had that you know thing in their head that hey these 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 video games are toys of course they're aimed for kids so they didn't know anything they didn't know anything better they didn't know that these were like super violent games all Nintendo's fault <laughs>
Well, no. I mean, most most parents have no clue what the ESRB means. Except their their kid wants a game. It's like, all right, just give him a game. Shut him up. <laughs> Go play this. Leave me alone. I need some quiet time. Go play your games. But, you know, the, the whole video games cause violence thing is also utter bullshit, so. Like, will playing a violent, violent game make your kid go out and, you know, shoot up the school? No, it won't, but. It's like, it's like with any, any form of media. If the parent doesn't give a damn about, uh, you know, keep an eye with their kids, uh, play or watch, then hey. They can't blame anybody but themselves. Oops, shit. <sighs> Friend, you're not a good deck. Oh yeah, I mean, Al has their uh, their Peggy, and and has the Ciro, and Australia has I don't know what the hell Australia has, etc. <laughs> etc. Et and Germany have its own or something. Odds are your kids aren't importing games either, so. They're not gonna go to, you know, EB and picking up a, a Japanese uh, or PAL game, generally. Yeah, but that's the thing, you're, you're one of the... Because you know about these ratings, you know what they mean and all that stuff, but... You're definitely not the majority of parents. <laughs> I, I, I would be surprised if, like, less than, you know, 20% of parents even... even, even knew what uh, the SRB ratings meant. Or, like, monitored, you know, what their kids uh, play and that kind of stuff. I'm not sure what uh, Zero stands for, but it's basically the Japanese ESRB. I forget which letter is like. I'm not sure if like uh, it's A higher than B is higher than C. I don't even know. It's, 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 it's one of those things you'd have to look up. Like Peggy is probably the you know the one that makes the most sense. It's like an age, right? Peggy 16, Peggy 18, you know that kind of stuff. You know, it's nice and simple. I mean, ESRB is confusing too. E, E10+, plus, uh, E, M, A, O, you know, like... Unless you look into it as, as a parent, just looking at these letters, you're like, what the f What is E? What is, what's E10? What's, what's, <laughs> what's T? Like, I don't know. Computer entertainment, there you go. What if it's not a computer? <laughs> Controversial erotic 
Red Oreo. Yeah, Red Oreos are pretty ironic. Actually, playing an RPG, everybody remembers those body parts and curling back with spells. Yeah, but in '86, you weren't exactly getting anything really graphic. It might be like words on a page, right? Now, with more modern games, things can get pretty graphic. You know, the little pixel things are like you know, ten by ten pixels. There's only so much you can depict on those that it's going to be like raising an eyebrow to anybody. The like cartoon violence. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, boy. Going. Yep, exactly. The Exo ones, oh, yeah, the Exo ones can definitely be. A little over the top, let's just say. Uh, get you to the ball, lady. Wait, push for the key. Where? Key is this floor. What? Key is the floor? What? That makes no sense. <laughs> uh, how does teen imply preteen now? Teen implies teen, doesn't imply somebody younger than teen. Well, it's another thing that, like, the U.S. doesn't, like, really doesn't make that much sense. Like, nudity is, like, is, like, super bad in games, but, like, intense violence is fine. <laughs> Europe is a little more lax in the whole nudity sense. Like, oh, boobies, you know, boobies, oh my god, can't have, can't, can't have a kid look at, look at tits, but hey, somebody getting their, getting decapitated, that's fine. You know, like, it's kind of like, eh kind of weird. <laughs> Just, let's be honest here. So I don't know how, like, on nudity or whatever we would be considered, you know, more taboo than violence. care a lot of events, not at all about nudity, yeah. It's like, it depends really on the part of the world, right? That's the thing. In North America, it seems to be like... Like, nudity is, is, is the big, big, bad taboo. Like, most parents, like, I can almost guarantee you, most parents watch their kids playing games and they saw, like, you know, kid going around shooting things, no problem. You know, it could be, like, shooting things, blood, splatter, that kind of stuff, but as soon as they see something naked, it was like, oh my god. <laughs> Little Timmy's playing something with, with nudity, my god, what do you think of the children? It's, it's really weird. But yeah, uh, anywhere else in the world, nudity is definitely, like, fine. But <coughs> violence is definitely a big taboo. Which makes sense. Like, that's how you would expect it to be. <coughs> it's just really weird here in North America. about nudity and language, but not blend violence, exactly. That's what I mean, like, language, too, like, 
Somebody says a swear word, and you know that's way worse than some somebody getting shot and killed. Like how? Yep. It's it's really really weird, really weird culture. But you know that's, that's a cultural it's a culture thing, right? Every culture is different. Doesn't make any sense, but friend. Children must be, or natural must be banned, yeah. Friend? <laughs> Not friend. Still scared of like saving after killing people just in case somehow I killed somebody or somebody aggroed one of the other ones and then I'm killing somebody who might be important. <sighs> because it's clear that if you don't pick up a certain thing from an NPC, you could be really screwed in this. sure if they're wholly random I mean, when you start the game and you choose your character like you know there's different characters depending on like you know i chose a character that was more of a warrior like there's one that was more like mage like etc but then you can re-roll your stats but i don't know if it just chooses from like a preset like it, it randomly chooses one of the preset things of stats or if it actually randomizes the stats but the stats I've, i had on this one was pretty good so i think it is I think it has just rolls, and I just happen to... <clears throat> I got a pretty good roll on this one across the board, but I don't know how much difference it would actually make. <clears throat> like, having one less strength, like, I'm assuming, obviously, for weight carrying capacity would probably make a difference, but I don't know how much it would make a difference for stuff like <clears throat> damage output. Trying to fight mages in long hallways. Oh no. Run. This is very next gen. Imagine playing this game after a PS5 game.
Yeah, true enough. Oh, hungry again. Hungry like a wolf. I think Sarah was. I forget how. I mean, I'm assuming Japan is probably pretty anti nudity as well. They're probably pretty anti violence too. What direction are you facing? Hmm. You can face a specific direction, I guess, to do something. Well, in like realistic, maybe not anime, but you don't see too much nudity per se. In like, you know, you'll see like you'll see them push the bar as far as they can. <laughs> yeah, PC eighty eight definitely. But I mean, most of those were like stuff that was. You weren't buying those in stores generally. You're buying them in like. Same place you were buying Dojin. Days of the internets. Oh, PC is just a P. It's just a computer. It's just let's just say the the vast majority, not the vast majority, but a pretty good chunk of the PCA library was uh, games that probably wouldn't be safe on Twitch. He was two years older than you. Doesn't seem to be. No, I mean there's there's the uh, criminal girls, but I'm pretty sure the Vita one is uh, <clears throat> like the original one. I think would be banned, but the Vita one's probably fine. <clears throat> Considering there's still like videos up that have been up for years on Twitch. <laughs> We played that game. I think we're. I think it's fine. I'm getting attacked. I'm gonna say, it feels like I'm getting attacked by multiple things. Been double teamed here. Usenet. Oh yeah. God love Usenets. It doesn't, but, you know. I, I don't know how I got, like, the thing to begin with, but... It, it, it'd be an awkward game to play once it eventually shows up in Fast Forward. Luckily it hasn't shown up yet, because it would probably get instantly voted. Rants, yeah.
I mean, McCaw streams a lot of stuff that would be... <laughs> but he, he generally has, like, a kind of a... Almost like a... One of those, like, boss... <laughs> boss mode uh, hot peas where you just, like... Censor the stream instantly, right? So you might get some stuff. Every once in a while that kind of... Shows up for a split second, but yeah. Not the sentient penis butts. S. So up S. Mm. It's both accurate. So the key is the map. You got like some weird. Like, maybe they're saying like this is this is south. So you're supposed to like face south up there or something. So I can go this way. Yeah. Maybe you have to face this way and head south. I don't know where the starting point is for, for doing this. Yeah. I mean, one NPC mentioned something about, like, check your direction or whatever, and then one said, like, obviously the, the map is the clue, and... I just don't know, like... I don't know if I'm supposed to be facing north and then going south, or I'm supposed to be heading south and facing up. But either way, like, where do I do this? <laughs> maybe there's this... see if there's a secret door somewhere that's locked, maybe I just have to do that. Oops. You are not a friend. <sighs> are friendly. They won't, like, attack. Beacon. There's clearly something behind this wall here, but I mean, obviously there is. 
to like need to like look south and go this way and then I don't know. Confusing. <laughs> I know, right? What can I let what can I say? Like rip the corpse open like a bantha. Nice and cozy in there. Like maybe here in this like secret passage. Maybe that's what it is. Try it. I think this one opened up before. Or maybe. Crystal ball. Do I need another fucking crystal ball? Was are you fucking kidding me? Is there a second fucking crystal? Here, you can have this crystal ball. Come on, do I? Two people wanted the same fucking crystal ball. Are you fucking kidding me? Where's my? Uh, hopefully, I have a uh, memory save or something that's before I gave the uh, crystal ball. It's fuck. Like another one on on this floor, and I haven't gone to this floor yet. Kind of horrible at the same time. Fifty times a second. What the fuck? I think we like him a little too much there. I was definitely gonna win. <laughs> too much pantsuits. I can you have too much pantsuits. <laughs> Gal gun. Well, not really. But the reload. Man, I really hope. I don't want to try reloading, but I really hope I have a save before I give the crystal ball. 
I'm gonna make sure I don't save. I just wanna explore, see if maybe there's a crystal ball up here somewhere. Women don't watch Horn Ridge. I know, it keeps reaching back there and then poking us in the face with it. I'm getting double teamed here. guys. God damn, these things are fast. Oh, can't chase me downstairs, so... Eh. This game is very much we... We know we're here getting a sequel. Well, they predicted wrong. Sleep. Hardest fuck to hit those things. This place acting in a Jaguar game. <laughs> and I really don't want to save until I see if I can find another crystal ball, but. I really hope I don't have to save prior to a given one. voice acting or it was just like computer generated moans. <laughs> Sounds like fun. 
something easier. I'm stuck. Alright, well, since we, uh, let's see where the last memory load was. Was it that one part ago was this? Okay, so this, I think this is before we gave the crystal ball, maybe? No, maybe not. Mm, is this before we got the crystal ball? I think this might be before I got the crystal ball. I might be safe here. Might be after shit. I don't know, Baines. At this rate, I, I might have like soft locked myself. Eventually, let's go see if the the person who we give the crystal ball to, JC. JC. after I gave the crystal ball. Fuck. <sighs> I don't know. I'm hoping there's a second crystal ball, otherwise I might have softlocked myself. That's fucking rude that's the case. It's my last cartridge save. Uh, yeah, this is... Again, I gave the crystal ball. Uh, maybe there's another crystal ball. <laughs> Kill the one that I gave the crystal ball to. Maybe they'll drop the crystal ball. I think it's worth a shot at this point. I don't know. It seems like a couple places I got a soft lock for sure. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, in a spot where I'm, like, completely, like, stuck at the moment, so... There's no... 
just, well, I mean, at this point, all my saves are after handing the crystal ball, so I might as well keep going until I hit an actual, like, hard lock. <sighs> Yeah, Texas beating this. Still not quite sure what the hell this means, this whole like arrow up arrow south. Like one of the NPCs mentions them with direction, and I'll see that one says the the floor is the key, which is you know clearly like up and up and S, which I'm assuming S is south, and you have to like move up all things south or, or look up while facing south. But again, I have no idea where I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, yeah. Early on, like if you used up all your levitation potions and went into the hole, there's some holes where you don't get a levitation potion. And even if you do go into a hole that has a levitation potion, if you use your levitation potion and runs out before you get out of that hole, this person just says good day. So let's just murder them. <laughs> they might have a key or something. <laughs> Data. I mean, I've never tried reloading like things. Yeah, maybe like maybe if you fall in the hole and and save it'll like put you back above the hole. Maybe I don't know. Which paragraph? See if we murder the person who gave the crystal ball to. Step one, see if they drop it. Step two is to try to kill the person who says they'll give you the key. enough to hit them when they're stationary. <laughs> and to uh, hit them when they're moving in, in these controls is like... So, and these, 
must have eaten and digested the crystal ball. On it off while we were uh, we went away. Started it and snorted it, yeah. Pretty much. Out of curiosity, who murdered the one who asked, the second one who asked for the crystal ball? Definitely feels we have to go to the library at some point too. I don't think I have a key that lets me in that library doors, so we'll be able to kill those golems then. Though. Check and see if any of these have crystal balls. Where's the NPC that was here? <laughs> well, let's just hope there's another crystal ball somewhere, because... Stop moving. These are really fast. <laughs> These ones probably wouldn't even catch up to them. Move so freaking fast. Are you facing like I don't know if that helps me at all in terms of the uh, the clue here and this up and south thing. So when spoiler, I wasn't looking. <laughs> no spoilers if somebody tried to spoil. Hmm. 
There's still like a big chunk of this map that's uh, not accessed, so... Why do you keep calling me Core, by the way? I'm confused too. Because <clears throat> yeah, I'm playing in the, a dungeon crawler. <clears throat> Confusing the hell out of me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or else the streams awesome RPGs. It's mostly computer ones. Get this bow of uselessness because I don't have any arrows. I could use this crystal vowel, the crystal ball. Um, I mean, this pillar here is like. Facing this way, like I tried. Facing this way and going south. Doesn't seem to do anything. Oh yeah. I mean, usually in this game, like, when, when somebody gives you something, you can just kill them. Get some XP, why not? I haven't seen any NPC give me give me more than one item. If they either tell you nothing, they just say, like, oh, good day, sir, you, you can just kill them. And the thing is, sometimes they'll drop keys, so you, you need to kill the friendly ones, because the friendly ones also, like, they drop stuff, so it's like... See nothing. Cosplaying is net net exactly. <sighs> no, this S up thing is really confusing. Like, I don't know where I'm supposed to use this. Like, maybe to enter this this spot that I can't enter here, but... But where do I even, like, where do I even start? <laughs> Mr. J. I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm soft-locked <laughs> at this point. Some NPC wanted a crystal ball, so I, I found a crystal ball, gave it to them, and then I found another NPC who's like, Hey, I'll give you a key if you give me a crystal ball. It's like... What? Insta shot me there. Get out of these NPCs. Every time you think they're friendly, the game's like, nope. <laughs> I probably killed all the ones outside. Oh, yeah, the game's super stable. I haven't had one crash or anything, so. Emulator 
In terms of the emulation for this uh, emulator, I'd say A plus for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, Bex probably has most likely there's another crystal ball somewhere. So <laughs> I haven't like really looked. I, I'm trying to do as much as I can on this level before moving up again to the uh, 12th floor there. So clearly some areas here, but maybe they're only accessible from above. You have to fall down. I don't see any path. No, no answer. Just thinking out loud. like there's like maybe here we have to like look up and head south and now that would make sense because go to the east or something get the central area. You never cast the spell successfully. Passage here somewhere. attack them until they attack me, but it's like, they do so much damage than they do. I hope there's a crystal ball in here. Doesn't seem to be moving, so... Gonna take a quick snooze. Yeah. A lot of, uh, a lot of like, D&D stuff, style stuff, always has this create food thing. Kind of makes me wonder how the food tastes. <laughs> Does it taste like good cheese? Is it just tastes like nothing? It makes your, your body think it ate food? It's numbing on mana. Might as well keep saving. I'm, I'm already like past the point of no return for giving that crystal ball to the other person, so I really hope there's a second crystal ball in here. It's the first time in the game where I've seen two different people want the same thing, <laughs> but I didn't consider. <laughs> oh god, burnt bread. I remember burnt bread. Oh, 
Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Not friend. Not talking so. Murder. <laughs> Is it Discord? Yes. I guess casting heal before going to sleep. You're full mana, might as well. Crystal ball. Sword. Quickness. I already have one of those. Yeah, this, is, this one was like hidden in one of those. Like, I didn't check if there's more of those. Uh, I didn't even. I completely stopped checking those. <laughs> Maybe more of like these upper areas. I wonder what that S up thing is, though. I mean, it doesn't seem like it has anything to do with this floor, then. Most likely in one of the other floors. Maybe it's like a teleporter or something like that, and you're like heading towards it and you get teleported back, so you have to look the opposite way. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's like a clue somewhere that tells you to go to go south or something like that, or to go east, and you have to actually go, you know, west, kind of thing. Could be something like that. I've, I've yet to get any clues that tells you to go a specific direction, so... And clearly on this floor there's nothing. Alright, let's go get that key. Rainbow key. Fancy. Use that downstairs, I'm assuming. No, Sevbot is currently offline. For the foreseeable future. Hungry. I want to eat it anyways. <sighs> Perk's fine. Mm. Bring Boki. Might be a boss here because. Dagon's office. But they also said Dagon's on the top floor, so I don't know. <clears throat> Could be his office, but he's probably not here. Take a while to get all that set up. No, 
no Wi-Fi. Who needs Wi-Fi? <sighs> Chris Marlins. Marlins love those those alien looking dudes. I pay them well to guard these floors. Not one stealing from my treasury, so I locked them up in one of my cells. Him, they're wearing dresses. <laughs> raised bronze key. Is this a raised bronze key? Brown bronze key. What have I started? My guards have been slaughtered by their own kind. I've brought back one of the most evil mages. I've betrayed I've been betrayed by my own elite guards, and I have more, made deals with creatures that should never exist in this plane. All this violence, all this destruction caused by me, then in the name of knowledge. Is it worth the price? Perhaps when I reach that planet and bring back the knowledge they have to offer, I'll be forgiven by the families I helped destroy. I wonder if this is the key to uh, get to the, the library, actually. That other NPC mentioned going to the library and doing doing a test or whatever, so Maybe you should go there for uh I wish this was like a fast travel thing, like a dumb waiter. Just jump in there and travel down like ten floors. Okay, well, let's make a save here. It's gonna be a long trip down. Oops, not loaded. We're all the way down to level 5. Level 9 is gonna be fun. here at least. Discord to work, what? Up in the channels list. Weird. Okay, straight up over. Alright, 
And... Yeah, next floor. Almost there. Let's equip that rust sword. Things can still do massive damage. Memory save. We can do this in spurts. So. Weird. You got too many channels. <laughs> no more channels left for you. Things are tanky as shit. Is this a, maybe this isn't the same one I was fighting before. Like full health. that teleporter and a long way back. speaks about the secret dung. It's a happy little tree. Thank you. 
<clears throat> waiting for me there. <laughs> I want to fight both of them at the same time, please. Right. One more. Nice. All right. Those are revivable bones. Damn it. I knew it came all the way down here for nothing. The question is if we want to save because I, you know, I want to kill these things again. Probably not that hard to kill. But... And it's just reload. I said I know I can kill them, so. It'll take me less time to kill these guys again than it will to go back all the way back up there, so... You got in Sigma. Nice. Oh, maybe it goes into the treasury room. Mm -hmm. Two keys that I haven't used at all yet. spotted yet. It probably like where I was heading before. Like on, on floor 12 or whatever. Some windows. And the top floor is open to the sky. What do you think about it? In a medieval, like, brick, like, uh, stone tower, you wouldn't have too many windows either. It wouldn't be very structurally sound and, you know, easy to, to attack, right? To climb in. You'd have, like, have uh, murder holes in that for arrow. Be really tiny slits. The closest thing. Oh, yeah, there's been some fantastic stuff. Walk over to these, be easier. Yeah, this floor is basically done, so let's head to the next floor. anything. Yeah. 
I'll be back in just seconds and grab a drink real quick. How's this game? Eh, it's... It exists. I mean, it's gonna be hard to rate it considering, you know, now I've played it quite a bit um, past the era that it existed, so... It's kinda hard not to compare it to, you know, the games I'm playing now. Which is one of the main reasons I played these games in chronolo ugh, chronological order back back in the day. You know, you're playing the game and you're comparing it to other games around when this was released, you definitely get a lot better feel of, like, how, you know, does it feel like a pretty advanced game for the time, at least on consoles. I forget what other games we were playing around this at this point, but it probably felt, probably felt pretty dated back when this came out anyways, so... Jaguar's not exactly, like, a powerhouse when it comes to this kind of game. Tears! Thanks to the raid. Welcome, readers. What are you playing today? Welcome to some dungeon crawling goodness. Pompeii C7. Nice. Impressive score. How is that? Is it amazing? I'm not really a wizard. It's more, it's more of dungeon, uh, uh, dungeon crawling. Uh, dungeon Master. There you go, that's the word I'm looking for. Like Dungeon Master, but single player. I mean it's it's more it's more like Daggerfall of it than anything, right? Daggerfall slash uh Ultima Underworld, that kind of thing, but worse. Even with Daggerfall vibes, yeah. I mean wizardry you're obviously doing like turn based battles. Here's your windows by the way. These are the windows. It's like an interesting idea, and obviously it's a little, uh... It's, it's, it's a little too advanced for the Jaguar. And the frame rate is kind of horrible, and the controls are just... I guess the worst part is the controls of this. Even after this long playing the game, I'm still... Fucking hell. Well, <sighs> should have saved for going up there. <clears throat> Forgot that I was going to get like wasted for a second going in there and I didn't save at all. Mm, Got to do all that again. <sighs> yeah, I think I think. Everybody who's, who's in the anti nep nep faction is voting for whatever has the most votes that's not nep nep. <laughs> Just like, you know, Werewolf won last time. But, I mean, nep nep's got a pretty heavy lead at this point, so the ne anti nep nep factions need to work hard to, to dethrone nep nep. Might happen. Although at this point, I don't know. If I had to choose between Digimon World 4 and nep nep, I think I would probably choose nep nep. Because I have yet to, to see a good Digimon World game. I understand 4 doesn't really change that. Yeah, so that sounds like Digimon World 3. Digimon World 3 is the exact same thing. It, it started off being pretty good. It's like, oh, this is pretty cool, and then suddenly it gets you to go back and forth like a thousand frickin' times for the same... And, like on the same island, like, just, it just did not give up trying to get you to go back and forth. Uptime, 12 hours. 
There you go. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's not as bad as people make it out to be. It's 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 fan service. If you accept the fact that it's a fan service game, you know. I don't know. I mean, I, I thought for sure Nep Nep was going to win with the last fast forward, but uh, apparently the Nep anti Nep Nep forces were uh, definitely uh, definitely had a, a higher voice there, so they dethroned Nep Nep. I thought the day Nep Nep would show up on fast forward would be the day we played Nep Nep. <laughs> and of course, it showed up two fast forwards in a row. Because Nep Nep doesn't. doesn't. Doesn't lose, doesn't lose for long. Oh, uh, well, there's 12 floors, and I've reached the 12th floor technically, but the 11th floor hasn't even been touched, so I'm also gonna be doing 11 and 12. I don't know. Probably gonna have to finish this off tomorrow, considering it's probably at least a couple hours left just to get through these two floors, so. Probably gonna be, like, finishing this off tomorrow, um, Afternoon there and tomorrow morning, or well, more afternoon. Alright, this time I'm gonna save before I go upstairs and get murdered in the face. <laughs> Well, there's still a couple, a, a good couple that has a lot of votes. I mean, some have showed up multiple times and have accrued votes but still lost, like Valkyrie Profile. Valkyrie Profile 2 has like over 100 votes now, but I mean, I think last time it showed up against uh, Atelier, which also had a lot of votes, so that, that didn't really help things. <clears throat> Next time Valkyrie Profile shows up, unless it goes up against like Yakuza or something like that. That'd be we need like Valkyrie Profile, Yakuza, and uh and uh Record of Agorist War. Those three show up on the same fast forward, that would be just like mind boggling since all three of those have over a hundred votes already. So they it would basically be an even fight again between those three. Well, Tails, Tails showed up twice, but it never like got that much support compared to the other games. Like, it, it, it's not like 100 plus like some of these other ones. It still has a decent number of votes. I forget exactly. I'd have to figure out exactly how much, but it showed up against, let's say, like Valkyrie Profile. Valkyrie Profile would, Profile would be at least 20 plus votes ahead minimum, not more. <laughs> I mean, it's not a guarantee you would win, but... <laughs> yeah, Ragnarok DS, yeah. Well, there's uh, Ragnarok uh, Odyssey, Ace Odyssey, there's a couple of Ragnarok games. trying to think of which one showed up multiple times that is like the least likely to show up multiple times like any game is like a one-off and it probably has been one but I can't think off the top of my head unfortunately with my the way my spreadsheet is designed now it doesn't show like how many times the game has shown up just you know <clears throat> how many votes the game has <clears throat> So, you know, if it showed up three times, it'll have, like, X number of votes, but I won't know how many times it's actually, like, showed up, how many votes for each time, kind of thing. It doesn't break it down like that. God, why are these so hard? I'm gonna 
the full magic rods, I think, for these bastards. together. gonna die to the... I don't know how she hasn't cast an attack yet. Um, as soon as I kill him, bam, instantly casts and kills me. of the realm? I haven't heard of that one. Was it a limited run release? I don't count anything. Anything that's like got a limited release. It'd have to be like a... some sort of unlimited like retail run or whatever. It's like, like oh we want to be printed like a thousand copies? Nope. <laughs> He's got the best music. Except the music hasn't changed at all in the last 17 hours. I think they could at least have different themes depending on like what floors, because each floor seems to have a theme. Like the first four floors have a certain theme, and the next four floors have like the undead theme. This one has like these. What are they called? Mal Malkarths or whatever? <laughs> the guy moaning. Mm. Mm. Oh, probably, probably the intern. Mm. 
think I killed the, that one over here with the flames. I missed the went all this way. There's a lot of pull chains here, which is concerning. Have to pull them all in like a specific pattern or something. I know, right? <clears throat> Just to be super freaking annoying. It's more. So high agility, dexterity, whatever, they're so hard to hit. Chains. Oh god, there's three more. Are you kidding me? Bond. It's actually pretty powerful. You keep this for the. Uh... Yeah, this one. This one seems a little strong. Let's keep this. Missiles in the other hand, it's pretty garbage soon. <laughs> what sort of charges? Why am I keeping this then? <laughs> Must have used up the last charge on it, not realizing that I had used up all the charges. <laughs> Crossbow of accuracy would be really good against these guys. But I don't have any arrows. It's one spell we need. We need a summon arrows spell. Maybe that's one of the missing spells I have. Rainbow key anymore, that was for that one door. We've now unlocked. <clears throat> Never want to attack until I see them attack just in case. Right. That was a good time to shoot some nukes at me.
I wonder if that uh, sign at the bottom there has to do with these pole chains. And there's like south. Oh, there is. Okay. There's, there's another one now. It's like west. Up. Yeah, so now we have. So, like south up downstairs. Now it's like north up, which. It's fucking confusing. Or is that north? No. Oh, that was, that was W. That's N. What the fuck does this mean? You got a physical release in consoles? Yeah, maybe. Don't get this. Alright, everybody, north is this way. Good thing the map told us, because I would be totally lost what direction north was. Huh. Got like eight full chains here. I mean, uh. Maybe that door is locked with a key. <laughs> and I think about it. Try the key before we start pulling chains, because. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Wishful thinking. Gotta use those pull chains. If these pole chains were like on, you know, a, like a north and south walls, then maybe it would make sense. Maybe you like you know, on the north side, you would you would like do it from the bottom to the top, and the south side you do it from the from the top to the bottom or something. Like I don't know. Let's try all these and see what happens. He's mentioning anything about these. So maybe the N, like south, maybe the north, northmost and the southmost have to be in the up position on each one. Floor 11, really, we haven't explored at all, and we don't have a way of exploring it, as far as I could tell. I mean, there's be notes on floor 11. I mean, there's only 256 possible combinations, right? <laughs> uh, I wasn't able to get into the library doors, they were still locked. I got through the golems, but I couldn't get into the actual library. Which, I mean, at this point would make sense, right? That we need to go to the library, but...
no secrets as far as I can tell. Yeah, it definitely feels like at this point we need to... Still have that uh, save down at the golems. I do. Oh, wait, fuck. There's a key right there. Wow. <laughs> do they seriously just drop a key for that door? The, maybe those other keys. Let's see if those keys even let me into those into this room. So we're able to get here before, but we never got past this door. Maybe this key. No. This one we got a while back. Oh, there we go. That key. That's the one we got from the uh, the thief dude, right? I think. It is very easy because, like, the body like blocks the covers the key. You don't see the key because there's the, the spread of the body is in front of it, which is super fucking annoying. Mace of disruption, probably good. Seven to nineteen, thirteen attack. Doesn't seem that good, but it's not how you use a mace. Maybe it's really, really strong. Protection. Generation ring. Emulate of mana. I'm assuming that gives me more mana. Or mana regeneration, maybe. Dropping my protection here, but sun seems to be like speeding up and slowing down. I'm not sure that's an emulation thing or like maybe a memory leak thing in this game. Well, sword rust is the only thing that can even do damage to those iron golems. I don't know if there's any more iron golems. I don't want to get rid of it just in case, but those fools! I explained my research and they think I'm mad. Now they attempt to kill me. It's my repayment for discovering life on another planet. Maybe if I burn some homes, I will scare them away. But not a soul must be endangered. Need to find information that lets us, uh... But if I don't get anything here other than information, I might just reload. And then just, like... Because that way I don't have to go back upstairs. I got a mace of disruption, but unless that's required to, to kill the boss, <laughs> my mind is just driven. I was just driven by the Crystal of Fall. It sounded like a plea for help. But well, the crystal is in Salvon's domain. It must be a trick from him. It should not happen again, as the crystal was weak. I've miscalculated my dig and revived Salvon. He was powerful and evil mage. We battled when my weakened condition I fled. Salvon can bring the dead back to life with ease. And he is using this army to take over my home. He now controls four floors using the mace. I have sealed... Okay, so definitely the mace. I have sealed the only exits to those floors. The mace of elements. Oh, well. Maybe not. <laughs> Which alone can unlock the door is now drained, so access is all but impossible. So is this just a clue that we need the Mace of Elements? But how... We, we had no way of killing these guys and getting in here until... Like, way later. Like, we didn't get the, uh, the, the Sword of Rust until we went to the upper floors. Which we needed the Mace. <laughs> so... What the hell? So 
I'm hoping those keys probably not needed anymore. It's probably just for that first door. This one maybe. Still haven't figured out what that this one here is for. Maybe it's for one of these doors. Oh, maybe it's for this one. Nice. It's nice finding a use of these keys that I've like. What did I hold these keys for? Beyond the next door lie the tests. That last key. Use the test for my pupils to determine their progress. Get some arrows for them. You know, let's keep those arrows. <laughs> Ooh. Great helm. Is it really that great though? 13 defense. 14 defense. Protection, put that back. Put in cubes, put that back gently. Throw it against the wall, and that works too. These tests and all that stuff is probably gonna take a while. It's probably good good idea to call it there for tonight, anyways, because I'm definitely gonna be. I mean, it's still like the entirety of the entirety of like floor 11, which we haven't even like touched yet, other than just pass by it to get to 12. We got 12. We got the final boss. It's probably gonna take a while. I definitely won't be finished this tonight, so. Before we do these tests, oh, we didn't drop that key. Did we? Good place to start off the stream tomorrow. Yeah, another super long stream, right? Make a uh, so after all that, our cartridge save is uh, is fine. I, te I tested it before the emulator. The emulator seems to be pretty good for that. So <clears throat> hopefully, we will find the Doodle King tomorrow. I can see this being another like couple hours at least. I don't know how long these tests are going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to give us information on how to get past that door. Because we got like the four things. I still don't know what the hell that that south up and north up thing. That maybe that's like deeper into the into floor twelve or maybe floor eleven. I mean, there could be like maybe there's like four symbols at some point, but maybe they'll make sense at some point. <laughs> right now they don't make any sense, so. So we'll see. But yeah, <clears throat> so I'll, I'll uh, be back on tomorrow. Uh, I'll be around uh, noon or so. And uh, yeah, we'll almost guarantee to beat this tomorrow unless unless I got really stumped by, by something. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's see who's online there we can raid up. <laughs> Nightcore. Good night, Morton. Good night, everybody. <laughs> of course, gonna be like, what the hell's going on here? Who's online here? Mm -hmm. I got the Wolf Rock on, playing some Matt Hoffman BM from BMX2. He's doing his Xbox challenge, so we'll raid him up and go from there. So, everybody have a fantastic night, and I'll catch you tomorrow for the end of this and uh, the beginning of uh, KOTOR, I guess. Bye for now, guys. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>